A oh, very warm welcome back to the JW Merrick Grosvenor House. For those of you that have stuck around to keep both myself and Maria Ho company for this event number 13, the 60K8 Max. But before we jump into the nitty gritty details of this 60K, JNT, Timothy Adams, heads up in the main and a $1.3 million river card for <sighs> Timothy Adams with all the chips going in. I mean, if only I could say that that was the most absurd thing that happened all <laughs> final table. Uh, but obviously, everybody at home knows that that was probably one of the craziest in terms of hands and chips flying, like the craziest final table I've ever personally witnessed. And, and that's on the back end of this series already. We had that four-handed gridlock between Ivy, Chidwick, Espen and Strava in the bounty where Chidwick was short-stacked, Ivy was short-stacked. It's just been non-stop action here, and to kind of top it off with that main event, Aces against Kings, Juan Pardo finding the fold with the Kings. I mean, are you ever finding a fold there? Yeah, and I think with a 20 big blind odd stack, I mean, of course, especially not for that stack does anybody find folds, but so many things in that pot had to go a certain way. JNT saying all in before it was his right. turn and things like that to really help Pardo get away in that spot. And the Chidwick cool-off. Can we talk about that just for a couple of seconds? I mean, I don't know. I mean, is it just the JNT image that he's built throughout the series where he can show up with Jack's ace-queen, perhaps, and ace-five, or...? It has to be, right? Because we had a little bit of a conversation before we came on air about, you know, whether or not Stevie's willing to deviate. You know, obviously, you don't four-bet fold ace-king, right? But... Sometimes, maybe, you do or you can. But again, Stevie has way more experience playing with JNT and kind of understanding that dynamic than any of us out here. Uh, but JNT, I guess, was uh, able to just have the right hands today in the right spots and having that image also worked in his favor. But in the end, couldn't close it out, which I'm a little sad to see. I love you, Tim, but, you know, JNT as the champ would have been pretty cool. Well, once again, congratulations to Tim Adams, of course. Second main event title for him. But for now, our attention turning to the final tournament in the No Limit Hold'em part of this Triton Super High Roller Series here in London is none other than Dan Smith leading the field. Only 45 entries so far, only three eliminations, a couple of rebuys, of course, as we look to throw it down to the main stage once more. We're playing down to the end of level 12 today. Perhaps the crazy shenanigans of that final table going to leak over into this 60k. This is event number 13. Unlucky for some. Perhaps we're going to be seeing plenty of aces against kings. Usually I feel like I'm wanting more action, but I feel like I need to take a breath. Like, I would be okay with, you know, perhaps just some raise and take it pre... No, maybe just nah, come on. See bet flop folds. It's going to be a long night <laughs> if it's just raised and taken it pre. I want to see that entry count get up to at least 60. But we didn't even have to commentate on the final table, but I feel breathless somehow. It's yeah, you it blowing was that up, kind You were blowing up the group chat. You were like, what on <laughs> earth is going on? I mean, it's crazy. All the WTFs thrown yep. around. Yep. Sorry, you can say it. You don't need to abbreviate it. Talking about aces v queens, just before we jumped into this, Seth Davies showered as Fred Delval got it in with queens against Davies. Aces found a queen on the river as the bloodbath continues. <laughs> well, and there will be, you know, of course, a lot of action given the structure a little shorter than the main event, 40 minute levels for this one, a little yep. quicker. Yeah, we're going to be getting an early night tonight, finishing at 12 o'clock with the delay, finishing around 12.30. And then also, you, I, the, the day you buy me 2%, then... I need to contract with you later. 5K, right? 5K, yeah. So I, I send you 15K or I send you 20K now? Later come with the gentleman or not together. 
Some business going on at the table. I don't know, 2%. 2% is how much? 2% is 5 I wish everyone that owed me money would come up and just be like, oh, hey, man, I owe you 15k. USDT, okay? That sure. definitely sounds like no poker player ever. I, I mean, a lot of poker players have to go and hound people to collect a debt, you know? Nah. It's very rare that a poker player just like, is like, you know what? Here you go. I'm joking. I don't want to put my friends on blast. <laughs> I'm not owed anything, as far as I know. <laughs> as far as you know. That was a short visit. One and done. I've been good. Soft bubble, that main event. Final table. Man, what a series it's been here in London. So many massive storylines. Ivy, late last night, getting it done for title number four. It's going to be tough to to pick one that stands out and that rises above them all. Thank you. Eight of clubs on the river for Timothy Adams, I think. Got a funny feeling pocket eights is going to be his new favorite hand. Well, eights are pretty lucky in my culture, and I'm sure he could get on board, uh, adopt it. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Isn't Tim part... Are we, are we opening this can of worms again? I, I mean, I feel like I can. I, mean, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure he is, though. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to have to ask. Yeah. I think he's a little he's like mixed. He's got a little you know, he's got a little something something. I got I got a bit of everything in me. So I can. I did one of those tests. Oh you did? Yeah. <gasps> Your DNA is in the database. Ooh. Ooh. True. True, but I, it's already been mutated so many times <laughs> over that I'm not really in danger of anything. <laughs> kind of like, you know. A stray dog. A mutt. Oh, no. Yeah. A mutt sounds so much better than a stray dog. Yeah, I have like 17 different places that apparently I've come from. <laughs> so it doesn't surprise me. I didn't do one of those tests, but my sister did, and we are 4% Finnish. King five seven. I wonder if, like, Sean Winter is 4% nuclear radiation <laughs> active. I don't know, man. I mean, this guy, we've said it time and time again. He's 4% related to Jason Statham. Like, well, there's that. They could be brothers. Could see him as like a Bond villain. Could also see him in like Top Gun Maverick as mm. Tom Cruise's right hand man or something. I don't know. Maybe just, just the aviators that he wears all the time yeah, lends itself to that. It. Just belongs in Hollywood, just in case poker doesn't work out for him. Heads up to the Queen 7 4. Gat Lu Chin opening from under the gun. Does fire out a C bet with the A sign. Silver with bottom pair, backdoor clubs. Very deep here. Has my favorite draw in poker. The bottom pair trip draw doesn't materialize on the eight of hearts turn. There it is. Mm. The bottom pair trip draw, the most lethal draw in No Limit Hold'em. Yeah, would be a little more lethal if Chun didn't just have ace high, although ace high with the action as played and the miss flush draw from the flop and a couple of other potential 
floats that Silva could have. I could see a sizing which Chun would be willing to pay off. Oh, hmm. This one, of course, polarizing Silva's range here, going for the overbet, but not not something that Chun feels comfortable calling. We did, unfortunately, lose 90% of our viewership. So we had to switch streams for those of you just joining us. The flip side of that main event spectacle, just the grand finale of the No Limit Hold'em events here from this Triton Super High Roller Series. We welcome you. Little 60k. Hey, Max, why did you laugh, by the way, when I said that? During the intro, like it, it felt like a devilish kind of laugh from that side of the room. Perhaps misbehavior on your part, or wait, when you said the 60k 8 max, you just started giggling. Oh, and no, I, was like, I wasn't giggling at that. I feel like it was something. It was something you said before that. Okay, here we What'd are. What did you say before that? I don't know. I don't Somebody know. watch it back and tell us. It was. It was not that. Okay. But I do remember doing that. Rodrigo is on with a second place finish in the 60k. Against Jason Kuhn. He's got the Queens. Also final tabled that event last night. And how about this for an explosive flop top set? against the second that flush draw in a three bet pot. On day two of the 250, it was so good, I called him uh, Kerry Kasuf. Oh yeah, he's... I never know what the hell he has, to be honest. Because <laughs> everyone I play with... Salawan going small, yeah, just wanting to that. keep a lot of hands in here. And of course, when you're blocking, the chances of your opponent having top pair. You're only going to get called by flush draws, some ace highs, perhaps some eights, nines, etc. that opt to play it as a check call here. London fresh off the final table. Of that 125k straight back on the saddle for the 60k. If he wants to get sticky against his inevitable turn barrel. This feels like such a weird spot. Like you have top set, you, you block everything, but at the same time, you still have to put money in the middle and try and get everything in by the river, I mean. Yeah, and if Loon calls here, it's really just for implies and if he believes you know perhaps his over card to the board is good which we can see that it isn't but a lot of times it will be you know a lot of times you're hoping that you have some more outs other than just the diamonds <laughs> oh. oh my word well Lindland getting there on this six of diamonds river if he could see how strong Seluan was then he would check but if he uh, didn't know then sometimes it makes you feel like oh got there on the river am I going to get some value if I check do I risk my opponent checking behind but even though the most obvious draw from the flop does get there and Saluan is left thinking what can I still get value from when I triple There will be some worse, you know. There's still one other queen in the deck, right? His opponent could have king queen or ace queen, but mm. I don't know if he would play it that way. I don't think those hands check flop as the pre-flop aggressor. I think those hands very often just become 
I'm sorry, Sally won three bet this pre -flop, He did, so. yeah, sorry. I left you out to dry no, there on that okay. one. You're in the deep no, end. No, but I, but, I, but I looked over and I caught myself, so I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, then king-queen can certainly be in here, right? Ace-queen, perhaps. I Perhaps those hands get a little aggressive before, but you can't blame Saluan for going for value here on the river. It's wild. He's gone for the non-all-in sizing. 50,000 of his 125,000 stack. Plans to check fold? Well, when this... <laughs> Well, when this hand plays out the way that it has and your opponent is willing to check jam on the river. Wow, Lun Lun just calling with the wow. second nuts. Oh, and you can see that he is a little upset at not finding the raise there with the second nuts. I'm pretty surprised by that, are you? I, I mean, yes, <laughs> is the short answer. I think Rodrigo always expects to win the hand when his opponent just calls. But does still have 30 bigs. Let's see. Of just betting 50k. I believe there was about to be a little post-mortem there. Lun Lun Top of the chip counts brought to you by GG Poker Rodrigo with his work cut out, but still a very healthy 30 bigs very early in the day, of course. Frederic, Deval, Fred, good friends with JNT. In fact, his best friend, if I'm not mistaken. Jumping in to this 60k after just watching his friend cash for 2.8 million. How about it? What is it supposed to do? Where is it supposed, it's supposed to go back the way it is. I don't know where, how it was. Is it lucky if you just let Sean Winter touch it? Well, actually, it might be luckier if Sean Winter touches it. That is true. Look at this, touches it and then wakes up with eights. Wow, that thing is lucky. Under the gun. <laughs> <laughs> don't speak too prematurely, Sean Winter is open. Has woken up with a couple of tens. Those look like three betting chips. Three bet he does. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sean hitting them with the, uh, wow, these ships are really lucky, or that it really is lucky, sorry. And then two bigger pairs behind. Did, did As Chun cuts out the cold format, <laughs> Dwight looks amused. Orpin started this hand with 38 bigs. You imagine that uh, you don't really have a lot of intentions of three bet folding. But at best, you're really just hoping your opponent has ace king, which he doesn't. Seems to be going for just generalized disaster prevention. Oh, Chun, happy to see the tens, really the only hand that comes over the top that he has crushed. Two cards to come, one card to come now. Open looking for the case ten. Doesn't find it. The deuce deuce run out clean for Chun. Up to 300k. 1.5x starting, 200,000 chips in exchange for $60,000 in this one. Mm. 
Maybe I laughed because I was still thinking about how you told me you don't eat sweets, yet you have basically a croissant stuffed with chocolate for breakfast every day. Well, firstly, those two things don't massive really exaggeration. add up for me. <laughs> I would expect better. That is a massive exaggeration. I've had two <laughs> since we've been here. What was the last tournament in Cyprus? I think you've had three, but who's counting? <laughs> the fact that you are counting worries me. But I was just trying to get a rebate on that breakfast <laughs> that I bought. You know, one of the first days you were here. And you're like, yeah, I'll get the next one. Still waiting. So I'm just, you know, I'm trying to slowly get a bit of rake back through these, uh, what are they called? Pano chocolates, whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Emphasis on chocolate, <laughs> Henry. I mean, it's dark I mean, chocolate. I know, it's I know, it's it's, it's the French pronunciation, but like it sounds close enough to chocolate that you do know it's still chocolate in there, right? Uh, Parlez to <laughs> English. You have like three hundred or something, right? Yeah, I think so. That's fine. More than three hundred. How do I say I don't speak French in French? Je ne parle pas français. There we go. Thank you. Precisely what you said. Adwire. Pouncing from the small. Ah, what a couple of weeks it's been, eh? Final No Limit Hold'em tournament. Be crowning a champion in this one tomorrow. Long old ways to go, of course. Late Reg still open. Are all the final tables this action-packed, or... I mean, again, I'm new here, so I can't say that I've <laughs> watched all the coverage leading up to being here, but the final tables have really been so much action and so quickly. I, I just, most days I'm like, oh yeah, there's no way this final table will be done at this time. You know, we're, yeah. we're probably good for, you know, a 10 p.m. start, but every time. Incredibly optimistic. <laughs> On your part. But yeah, I mean, look, it kicked off with the two hour heads up match. Lucas Greenwood came out on top. Then we had Fatal Holtz squaring off against Chris Brewer to win his third title. Then that four handed battle between Phil Ivey, Chidwick, Espinor, Stan, and Strava in the 40k. Jason Kuhn then winning his eighth. Then a four handed battle in the 200k. Jan, Barbero, Chidwick. Sorry, not Chidwick, Adams and Espen again. Adams saying, no deal, boys. Let's play. Yeah, and eventually closing that one out for Freeman. It's just been nonstop, the 250K. What happened there? Fireworks. Right. For Bryn, <laughs> who ended up emerging victorious. And then today, 125K main event. Battle for the ages. I mean, in terms of just how can you not root for JNT, but also Tim Adams, such an incredibly strong elite pro. I would have loved to see Jungle versus JNT because, you know, for the memes, perhaps. But Jungle didn't have the best of days. Still a great finish for him. Profion in the chat said, Maria's counting how many calories Henry eats every day. It sounds like it, doesn't it, Profion? It's getting a bit... Well, you know... A bit concerned. Your mom did call me before we started and was like, can you look after my Henry? Your mom jokes. <laughs> Unbelievable. I promised I would look after you. That's why I'm going to continue for 20% pots. Did three bet, button, V hijack. Silver gun, no, with the eights just yet. Let's see if O'Dwyer can find the double barrel here. I mean, what do you do? Three bet pot, your opponent's check called. But King, Queen, high, you pick up a gut shot. You have all the strongest ace X in your range. to wave the white flag.
I do think the nice thing when O'Dwyer does check back is that if Silva checks here, then O'Dwyer can actually bet and try to get these types of hands, you know, off by representing queens, kings, jacks, some hands that would check back on the turn, afraid of the ace axes, but able to maybe go for value on the river. The only problem is tens and nines now have boats. I think if it was a little more brickier, the backdoor flush not getting there as well. He doesn't block any flushes. I think sometimes that, again, the bet check bet line. Nobody bluffs. Never. That would have been a great spot to employ it had the run out been better. Hey man, you again. Uh oh. For yesterday. Yeah, Who's joining? There he is. The man himself. The recently crowned four time champion. Mr. Phil Ivy. JNT really giving Phil Ivy a run for his money though on being the man, but I'm sure viewers would agree. Excuse me. They'd love to see Ivy. I mean, JNT's heads up match did get more viewers than when we've had Ivy on the feature. It was also, you know, 4.1 million <laughs> up top and it was the main event. Oh, you think it's that and you don't think it's JNT? How dare you? JNT is a star. He certainly is. Joined us for the first time in, I want to say, Cyprus last year in September. Right. Certainly no shortage of three betting here so far today. I have a one-year-old daughter. Really? Ivy, going to be getting busy. Some family downtime after this trip. There is. Yeah, very hard. You miss so much so fast. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yesterday, my wife sent me a video. I watched it like 30 times. 15? Like, it's just a girl, two girls I have. But the youngest one is like very small. They are. You know it. I watched it like 30 times yesterday, this video. No, I know this way. Hey, Jack. Have a big man? Yeah. Like, okay. And I need to yeah. okay. take them. Like, maybe I will yeah. go to the next track. Right. They're saying. Uh, Brazil is very long trip, you know, for them. And they have two, so the oldest, the oldest one there is it's far. Yeah, we have, but okay. no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Have you tried it? <laughs> sorry, boss. Not to travel with, but maybe it's a solution. Yeah. I'm try it. I'm bring our mom, I'm bring our house. Yeah. I'll let you know how it goes. Yes. But we only have one source. Yeah. Barcelona is actually a nice place, yeah. but Monte Carlo is very bad. I went with my oldest Come on, you're there. Not that daughter right? once. Like Maybe a little bit of a pause in the wholesome family conversation I'm loving for a it though. blind versus blind confrontation. Sharing stories about their young families. Ivy recently became a dad, Rodrigo, two you young do girls. You love it because you have baby fever. Yeah. Am I not supposed to say that on air? You could say it. <laughs> does it doesn't change anything. Battle of the high cards. Imagine if they just continued the conversation. <laughs> it's all business. Nice. 
Yeah, some nice equity. Seluan turned with the flush draw and Ivy. He's coming out with the bet here. Yeah, I think more than AP as well. Playing queen high. Just slightly over min. Good price pool. Yeah. And because this was a limped pot, of course, Ivy can have all the 7x, perhaps Seluan just wanting to call and <laughs> try to get there with the flush, just in case he's up against a hand that will not fold to a raise. Brazilian backdooring the flush. See what you've started in the chat, Maria. What? Lama saying, Maria Henry, when are the London cash games going to drop on YouTube? They will be as far as I'm aware. And don't quote me on this. But immediately after we wrap up here in London. That's what I was told. It's Ivy. Waste no time. Folding on the river as we have another Brazilian coming over. The first ever Brazilian to win a Triton Super High Roller Series. It's the Pedro Aragnani. Would you go for a Triton Monte Carlo? Yeah. Would you go to Monte Carlo if they run a Triton in two months? Yeah. With no. no. And yes, Ivy did take down an event last night on his fourth title. A 60K turbo for a million dollars and change. One million and seven thousand dollars to be precise, being Carry Cat's heads up. And no wonder that they're bonding. So Rodrigo was also at that final table with Ivy, came fourth for 360k, quite the trip for the Brazilian. You look like you're about to... Come on then, let's hear it. No, I was just having some thoughts about their family convo, about you and your baby fever, and I'm gonna be, I'm on the lookout for you. Okay. For a baby mama, Henry. <laughs> I'll, uh, We're f we'll find you a good one. Sounds good. I'll hold you to it. I feel like you, you would actually be the person that I would come to and be like, hey, what do you think of this pairing? Okay, so, okay. I like it. Yeah. Has to care about her health. So that's it. It's the, the, the only, what do you call it, stipulation. The only? Yeah, like if she's into fitness nah, and her health. We need, we, need a, we need to have a few more <laughs> stipulations, I think. Check, check on the flop and O'Dwyer's over cards. One of them hits, but still going to check it over to Ivy. Yeah, not surprised to see Ivy check on the flop, right? This is a plus one open, three over cards. Let's check through. <laughs> Value to be had now from O'Dwyer, given it goes check, check, flop, and turn. Let's find the bet. Ivy, of course, going to pitch the sevens. Good boys, 82. Saying did Pedro win one of the turbo events? He did indeed. Took down the 30k turbo bounty, beating his fellow countrymen. Heads up in that one. I believe they struck a deal. I believe it was Silver that he actually beat. Silver at this table. 
just confirm that. No, it wasn't silver. Some of the world's best Brazilians showing up to compete in this one, of course. It's Bruno Volkman that he beat heads up in that 30k. Now let me hold him, turbo bounty. Numero uno for Ivy. you <laughs> just got to come with the flat. Love to see it. Getting trappy pre-flop. Note the equities. Maria only has 62% three ways. Could be a car crash for Ivy. We've seen his aces cracked already once before. Well, it's going to be pretty tough for his aces to get cracked with that flop. Not impossible, but we'll see who sticks around. Checked to the turn. Ivy really giving his opponents as much rope as possible. And you wonder, with this turned gutty, Delval does fire well, Fred like JNT an absolute gentleman met JNT 10 years ago in some $500 tournament they've been best friends ever since two Frenchmen now traveling around enjoying the fruits of life and poker. Love to see him showing up. Support the series. Rivering Showdown. I'm going to check over to Bambino. Ivy. Clear value. Trying to get a little bit of value from perhaps, you know, these types of hands that river to pair. I don't think very often he expects a King X to be played this way. So not a whole lot of strong hands out there. And a disciplined fold by the river pair of nines. Dan Smith has been Temporarily dethroned. This one is a disaster when you're like, <laughs> you, when you actually want to be calling, but then you're like opening the action. Now yeah. chip leader. Yeah. It's clear you're weak and then like. The yeah, you're just fucked. Like. Whoa. No need for that kind it of It sounded language. like somebody turned the volume up the on that score. too. Wow. Have a chance able to get in. Winless. That and that and base score. NFL. Two. It's just it's something that if you didn't grow up like playing or watching, it's kind of hard to get into. Yeah. Cool. I think like the area I'm from in the UK, everyone just grows up playing soccer and like only that. Like, yeah. There's like decent amounts of American football fans in the UK, right? Uh, I think it's getting a lot bigger. Yeah, like they're having games in London and stuff. So I think it's I think it's getting a lot more popular. Samuel so saying Ivy's in top form this day. Yeah, I think they always sell out Wembley every time they they come. Makita flopping best in the single raise pot. Opening the ace nine from the yeah. cutoff, Rodrigo flatting out the small and in trouble on the ace high board. I thought they were like terrible. <laughs> yeah, I feel like. From, I mean, it's changing a little bit now with like soccer. Like it's, it's so hard for me to not say football in conversation. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's changing a little bit now because like Saudi Arabia are buying a bunch of clubs and there's like so much money flying around. But without the like <laughs> draft system, you do end up with just like there's been like the top six clubs in the UK and it hasn't really changed now for like 20 years yeah. or something. 
Yeah, there's no salary cap either. Right? Yeah, so it's just like, it's like an arms race now, especially. A lot harder for Seiji to chop now after bad turn I've seen the baseball salaries are absurd. Yeah, I mean, NBA is the most... Yeah. It's not just yeah, me, right? I their mics are a lot. Long, but like, I'm not, <laughs> These mics are yeah, hotter it's, it's here. A lot, it's a lot louder. Lewis getting showered for calling football soccer. But look, I respect... So you guys are showering him. I actually respect the adjustment that he made based yeah. on who he's talking with. I actually think it's really GTO. Because I've done that myself stateside and it it can lead to a lot of confusion so, so easy to get injured and fuck you gotta up respect your... the uh the awareness bad sizing I played up. rugby a lot when i was younger and i had to quit is it the it, same i was uh kind of we don't we don't use pads there's no no padding in rugby <laughs> it's more man man stuff well they're, they're like they're a lot more they regulate the tackling and stuff a lot more the nine nine like, run out it's so much more dangerous if yeah. you just get nailed well like that's unfortunate for sage yeah there's like <laughs> you can't do that <laughs> But now like, he might have more reason to think he could be chopping yeah. here. Well, they changed it a bunch in rugby when really like he's from up against over the years from when I was a kid because it was a like boat. I was talking to Fox and about it, and I was like, my back was getting so fucked up from in like it's a rugby whenever there's a dead ball. You're Rodrigo, like strong, right? Like, like Bats is gonna have the king queens, like, the king could tens, walk, the could not walk after hands that pick up clubs on the turn that make really good bluff candidates like queen yeah. ten. Blocking hands like ace queen ace ten. Oh. And looks like most of it. Well, all of Rodrigo's stack at least. Yeah. I think NFL is a lot more like coordinated plays and stuff as well. Right. It's all like, it's all Yeah. It's it's not free, it's not There's no like free CG play at all. Doesn't so block any clubs. Oh, he's it's just decided. That he's gonna call this one down. That, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> Hits him with the old. That hand looks good. Full house is good for Makita. Rodrigo Seiji. Unable to get away from it. I'm gonna finish off the espresso. Perhaps come in a re enter yeah. in a little bit. Get a fresh take a breather. It's really interesting if you ever listen to. I remember watching a YouTube video where they had like all the quarterback comms and stuff, and it's like the amount of plays they actually have set up is like. Yeah, especially. In it's kind of crazy how much depth there is. Yeah, that's, that's why that you see a lot of like university football is a huge deal in the U.S. too. Yeah. Um, you see a lot of guys that are great in college are not that good. Get in involved in the conversation. So more of a thinking game. Oh, yeah, because yeah, they're talking yeah. about American football That's kind of how yeah. like kids like football is. I like, in the, it's I like, like NFL. When you get scouted as a, like, I used to play at like a pretty high level when I was a kid and it's like, they scout you based on how quick you are and how big you are and then eventually it becomes a lot of like uh, football IQ, I guess they would call exactly. it. Exactly, yeah. Very similar. I got scouted for one. Scouted once. Was it at a shopping mall to be uh, an, act an actor? The Macaulay Culkin of your generation, perhaps? Where did that come from? Well, in America, actually, they used to always have these talent scouts at the mall for kid actors. And they would also be like, there would also be some scams, of course, involved in that, where they'd be like, oh, yeah, if you come and take your photo, like we do headshots, we're, we're the whole package, we're an agency. And then you, inevitably somebody's parents spend a thousand dollars on the full kit and caboodle, and and uh, guess what? Their kids are certainly not an A-list actor right now. Sounds like a profitable scam. Spencer defending the big. I got scouted by Triton because oh. Randy lost his passport. Just you know, classic Randy things. Out of everyone that works here, that is the person that you would be least surprised about losing their passport. In fact, I think from here on out, one of us should offer to hold on to Randy's passport until he has to leave. Just hopefully just put it in the safe. You would think it's that, that simple. You would think. That's gonna take a little stab here. In position. 
gets the 12 overs in the hands of Spencer and Davies to fold. Early days here. Late Reg will close on this one at the end of level 10, I believe. Plan is to play 12 levels today. Come back tomorrow, play down to a champion. And then that means tomorrow, the No Limit Hold'em part of the series will be wrapping up. So we'll have two days of short deck action. My specialty. Can I some food too? Can't My best wait game. Just get to a hear. <laughs> You You're supposed down, to send me something. I've been, watching, I've been watching. I've been watching. I've been studying up. I figured it out. I respect it. Yeah, yeah. sweet, the sweet you one. Know, yeah. Put some hands into an equity oh. calculator. <laughs> what? I mean, it's gonna help. I, that's what I did. I had a little time today, actually, starting on the late shift. This is what it's like to be you every day, except for me, it only happens every other day. So what happens for you every day? No, this happens for you every day. Y you on the late shift. Ah, okay. But for me, I only experience it every other day. Yeah, I get to enjoy my days. What a life. I know, right? I'm for a walk in, Hyde, walk in Hyde Park today. It was actually like sunny out for some of the day. Not all, some. New size. Tell I had what to a joy. and then the guy left. I don't know what it was. Just a little Dude. bit of sun like a in double London. Bad uh, yeah, please. I was just in a hand. Thank you. <laughs> it's like he's probably folding, but if he <laughs> wants to pay something, <laughs> let let him pay more. Seth Davies on bullet number two. Losing that massive flip last night. Queens against Ace King on the final table bubble. 125k main. And getting aces cracked today already. It's been one of those shifts. Did cash all the bigger buy-in events though. Which isn't typically oh, a good stra strategy at a Triton Super High Roll no, Series, but it. what Thank could you. have been uh, a few bad me. beats. And for me, fruit platter. Fruit pleasure and green tea with honey and lemon. Oh, it's on me? Sorry. Signed out, picking on bats. I could think of easier people to pick on at the poker table, but he does have Ace Nine suited. Not normally the guy I'd go after myself. I should have just chanced. Mikita, are you going to come to Super Hour Roll? I'm not sure yet. Say. You'll come to that, yeah? No, I'm not planning. Not planning. Fun fact Mikita and I are neighbors. Are you guys going to Barcelona? In Thailand? For yeah. me, like, just huh. Lives in the same lines, village. To US yeah. like, just I didn't realize that bad lived there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's like so tempting to play 300k, obviously, so I might, like, you know, yeah. decide to come. I feel like if it happened that my sleeping schedule is fucked up by time, by the time of the Vegas trip, I come, and if it's, like, all settled, then it's settled, you stay. That's a good plan. Cool. Talking, of course, about the Super High Roller Bowl happening in Vegas at the Poker Go studio. Oh, Three-way affair here. Tan. Gonna defend. The Jack Ato could potentially get in trouble here. Does actually flop, you could argue, best on the 9-7 deuce, even though he still only has jack high. But the only player with a spade in hand, and that gut shot working for him, as well as all of his pair outs. Still going to play in flow, but Putra checking. 
Ponikovs, of course, can't help himself. You check round to this guy. He's going to find the aggressive line. I've seen Ponikovs play a little bit before coming here, but I have to say, watching him throughout these Triton events, like, if I ever play with him, I will not be folding. Like, you have to pry the cards out of my hands <laughs> against Ponikovs. Like, he's earned it. He, If he has it, he has it. Yeah, but, that... Uh, that Jack Deuce hand against Seth Davies in a 250k was gnarly. I mean, it's absurd. Yeah, just really going for it. Managed to share some laughs over it, of course. Double gut shot now for Ponico. It's a really fun turn card as Tan has turned top pair. 39k in the middle. Ponico's the effective stack. 108 back. And are you surprised at all, Maria? He's found the double barrel here? No, especially after turning all that equity and blocking 10-8, right? Which is always nice, you know, against the big blind range where certainly can contain quite a few straight draws from the flop, flush draws from the flop as well. And this is just a way to hopefully get them to fold out some equity, not expecting to be up against, you know, top pair and a straight draw very often especially when Ponikovs, as I mentioned, it does have the 10 in hand. Ooh, oh! Finds it. Hmm. Two pair for Tan. 79k in the middle. Four liner on board. Spades bricking. 75. A snap bet from Ponikovs. Like, super fast decisions being made across flop turn and river. He acts disturbingly fast, as in it will throw other players right. off their game when he acts that quickly. Is that what he's trying to do here, just by acting quickly and kind of perhaps trying to bait Tan into a quick decision misstep? Well, from what I've seen from Schwan, he certainly doesn't like to give up on pots himself. And you wonder if he's going to come with the call, especially maybe against somebody with Ponikov's image and also because it won't be for his entire stack or his tournament life. Sometimes that will factor into What's people's that? decisions, but I think it's like not September the best 19th, bluff catcher. There. They're doing Eight. poker masters, you know, 28 blocking. Yeah, poker masters leading up to it. Some flush draws, you know, some of the most likely flush draws that will call just the pre-flop raise are going to be, gonna be you know, yeah. wow. jack-10 suited, jack-9 suited, queen-jack suited. Here, yeah? Yeah. So having the jack of spades not great. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel, I think. Not necessarily for... Canceling. Yeah. Like, who's going to play, like, uh, 25-3 plus? Is it going to be, like, 10 players' fields? Might just be insane though, like randomly. Yeah. Like just like every reg skips. <laughs> like, nice fold from yeah, Schwan. Yeah, I mean, Didn't love it, it but really good good. knew that it was likely the right thing to do. Yeah. Good luck. A fast acting wizard chips up. Love going there. Backdooring into the straight. I think if you're American, it's pretty good because like yeah, it's, it's only the guys that. It's only like the guys that don't get fucked on packs already. Right. It's really bad for. Like, if you're from the UK, it's like I mean, so. It's like you, so bad. It, it could if if you're down money on the year in the US, it could be bad for us. But if you're yeah. talking of wizards, G2 Wizard, the number one app for poker players, they recently launched their new. GTO Wizard AI, the world's most powerful poker solver. You can check it out over at gtowizard.com. And you can also get yourself a little discount, a little freebie access for 24 hours by using the code Triton at gtowizard.com forward slash Triton to get free access and get a 10% discount on your first purchase. Once again, GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players worldwide. Seems like Kerry was impressed of my style, so Kerry? Yeah, he said he will give me airplane to come <laughs> for her roller ball. If oh, he will make an airplane? Yeah, if he will make it, I will come. 
Does that mean he's impressed or he wants you in there? Yeah, are you the spot? Or? Hmm? Are you done? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pinja. You much of a, <laughs> a uh, jet girl? Me, I'm so looking forward to doing nothing until Pokemon. Get you ever get invited? Huh? I get lucky on a relay. You played enough back to get the old uh, <laughs> private jet invite. Hey, Maria, come check out this uh, new casino we just opened. Yeah. You would think, based on some of the stories you've heard, that that's a possibility, but... Uh, Not yet. No, haven't got the casino invites, but have gotten other invites. But one of these days, I'll lose enough in the pits, surely. My day's coming. My reckoning. <laughs> that, I mean, that's when you know. That you, I mean, I was telling you about the Henrik Hecklin story, where you get the invite from... The, the VIP host, hey, sir, would you uh, like to stay at our resort? And plus all the Put you yeah. up for a few nights free of charge? I've played with fire enough times. One of these days, I will get burned. I'm not just going to leave Bach unscathed with my money intact, clearly. Or perhaps you're the one, you're the chosen one. Oh, I'm like Sean yeah. Perry, right? Maybe, maybe you Sean are. Perry's, Sean Perry is currently the chosen one in Bach. But maybe one day, that'll be me. Uh, back then, London, Bellagio, with four times the year, double barrel here, just the pair of tens on the ace-10-5 queen board. Trying to tell a story that he's got Silver's pair of queens beat. Let's see if the Brazilian wants to believe him. I mean, you've just seen London check call with the second nut flush on the river and now this guy is betting two streets into you but it's going to keep him honest for at least one more <laughs> that's actually a really fun card yeah you wonder if loon Obviously, betting turn because he's trying to get better hands to fold and not for value. If he's just going to continue, Jack Nine. Now, also possibility along with, of course, King Jack. Silva does block those straights. I'm wondering, you know, what Ace Xs would be willing to triple. You know, does just one pair, top pair hands. Would they take this line on this type of run out? Or is it more two pairs and sets that would be willing to continue barreling? Oh, it looks like he's reaching. Pretty gangster. <laughs> I'm going to lie. I respect it. Interesting sizing, you know, not too big, not polarizing, just looks like he can actually keep some of his weaker value in with this sizing. But I just don't know if Sylvia is prepared to fold, even with perhaps, as you mentioned, the reputation that Loon has, you know, not necessarily going crazy with big hands so it might feel like for him to triple in the spot he's got to be nutted but Silva does block King Jack of course I think it's just about how often he thinks some top pair hands some two pair type hands is there the other option where we turn this into a bluff there is definitely always that option I only don't think that that's happening based on his body language. Right. But, yes, of wow, course. Wow, what a hero. How do they do it? These Brazilian players, they come to London, win titles, running deep in several final tables, and then put it on the cape against the Lunlun triple barrel. And you have to ask, was there perhaps a, a live read or a sizing tell there? Maybe or a little of both. I, they feel really dialed in, right? These Brazilians, they come here and they're always really focused. They usually have really healthy routines, it mm. seems like. They're living right. And 
really alert, always watching what's happening at the table, even when they're not in a hand themselves, not really ever that distracted. You know, I've, I've probably never seen Yuri on his phone mm. when he's at the table. Yeah, Just I things agree. like that all play a role into being able to play your best, especially against very tough opponents. Loon clearly did not make it easy for him there with the triple barrel. Managing to sniff it out. What kind of message does it send to the likes of Lun Lun? You have to have to imagine that that seed of doubt is planted within one's mind. Like, wow, this guy just called me down with a turn second pair. What does he know that I don't know? Mental warfare. Now he gets no action with the Ace King. <laughs> Caught Lun Lun with his hand in the cookie jar and put him in an armbar. <laughs> okay, gonna use that one. It's a 61 runners now. Nick Schulman out. Early exit for him. After soft bubbling the final table of the 125k main as well. Reg open until the end of level 10, I believe. That's correct. Still plenty of time for Tim Adams to get in? Is he's not in yet, right? He's enjoying the oh my victory lap. What a disgusting hand for Shulman. Just his tenth hand, I believe. Oya oh, Masashi open on the button. Shulman three bet to twenty eight k. Masashi just ripped it in Shulman's face for. 55 bigs, Shulman snaps with queens. Comes queen 6-3, top set. The Shulman, deuce of spades on the turn, presenting a flush draw. Had the spade, Shulman that is. Then a five of hearts on the river for the oh. ace four offsuit of Masashi to shower Shulman as we dive back into this one. Three bet pot, Cat Lee Chun. Yeah, I don't think Ivy's gonna get showered on this texture not a whole lot of connection for him but Chun certainly with the nut flush draw and the betting lead ace high also with the best hand you know this Phil Ivy guy Maria I've been watching him throughout this the series guy. I think he's got a future in the game very impressed yeah he has what it takes to stick around perhaps you know maybe at least for the next few years few decades. We'll see. <laughs> playing at the highest level. I could see it. Could definitely see it. I would buy his action, you know. I don't think he's selling his action. I mean, if he is, Ivy, slide in. It's a different air to him. I've seen that hand history between him and Tom Dwan resurfaced recently from what must have been what, almost 20 years ago now. Talking to Ivy. Numero uno again. No action. <laughs> you know. Ivy, new to the game, yet people are already intimidated by him. Don't want to defend the big against his opens. Good read. Good read, guys. It must feel so good to get the results he's had here in London already. 
knowing the work that he's been putting in behind the scenes to take care of his health. I mean, just in fantastic shape. So he's in the best shape of his life, both physically and mentally. And you have to wonder, time and time again, the conversation of the impact things that you do away from the table have such a positive one at the table. Yeah, that certainly wasn't the mentality for old school players, right? Mm. Back then, it was late nights, ciggies at the table. You know, there was no emphasis on meditation, yoga, breath work, eating right. But when you think about the mental stamina that it takes to play these long days when one mistake can cost you your tournament life, you really have to be in a really good state of mind and physically to just be able to feel energized through 10 to 12 hours of play a day, multiple days on end. Took down his fourth Triton title last night as Garrick Nani is perhaps going to get himself into trouble here. Three bet pre. Looking to isolate Chun. Flopping top pair on the Queen Jack 3 board. You can see that Chun has flopped top two. Oh, he's clicked it back. <sighs> There's your answer, Pedro. Yeah, a little concerning for sure. You know, there will be perhaps some draws that Pedro feels like Chun would play this way. Perhaps the King-10 suited that call pre and flop an open-ender. Also a lot of, you know, suited Broadway-type holdings in the mix in general. That, is that just the turn card where Pedro gets showered? The board pairing. King 10 suited, Jack 10 suited. Maybe some ace X of spades that try and bluff him off. Ooh, the, the double. Is he going to find the double check raise or is Pedro going to check back here? You wonder if Pedro, you know, realizing that there can certainly be hands out there with a lot of equity, would he just try to deny those hands the ability to see the river? But also, how strong does this look? It feels like a lot of times with draws, your opponent might just continue after check raising the flop. 40? Yeah, so that's... That's why I think he's not going to expect this. But maybe Chun checking because he feels like he could be up against aces or kings That's sometimes. That's what I was thinking, yeah. And feels like he can't beat those two pair. Well, now his body language and facial expression says it all. Clearly very much afraid of aces wow. and kings having turned better two pair, of course. Aces and threes and kings and threes beating the queens and jacks. But that is just such a small part of Pedro's continuing range. You know, certainly you would think a hand like ace-king will absolutely still call a min check raise. I was hoping he was going to hit him with the old double check oh, raise. Oh, that would have been so nice. Well, okay. Well, now maybe. Uh, maybe? No, now he's just going to bet himself. <laughs> so quickly, too. Just the way these players act. Wow, Pedro snapping him off on the river. Gets shown the full house. What on earth is happening, Maria? It's just like, it's a 60K buy-in. You know, I think it's a little bit like what you said. It's the end of the series. Perhaps, you know, we've gotten all the big buy-ins out of the way, but that means some people are stuck close to seven figures. That's true. And hadn't thought about it's that. It's a little bit of a let's go big or go home right. 
series saver. Here we come. We got a win, though, to break even. <laughs> yeah, I'm just surprised. I mean, Pedro had 30 big blinds back. Um, called the check raise on the flop. Chun then check, called turn. And then snap jammed river. I mean, queen nine. I don't know how I feel about that one. I feel like perhaps a little bit more time thinking it through could have helped him find the fold. Well, squarely just putting Chun's hand in the category of straight draws and flush draws there. But as you mentioned, had time banks to spare. Could have thought about it on the end. Yeah, perhaps I'm being a bit results oriented here. It would be a good river card to potentially bluff on with those missed draws. Chen had the goods. The show goes on. Daniel Forrest leading the field. Very good question in the chat from Lama saying, does the Triton app show how many bullets each player has fired? So when you click on a player's profile, you can scroll back through the past 100 hands that they played from that tournament. So you have to do a little bit of admin work on your end, but you can figure it out, especially during the start of a tournament, for example. <laughs> so there's currently been 10 eliminations and there are five people on the eliminated players list, perhaps going to re-enter. So there are definitely people in the field that are in for at least two bullets. I feel with the pre-flop ISO. Looks like he's going to continue here on the ace-queen tray and I don't think Delval be going anywhere just yet. Popping that gut shot, backdoor hearts. By the way, Maria, not one to typically roast Arlene Najad, as he's very good at putting me in my place very quickly with his witty banter and needles. But that eight of clubs on the river for Timothy Adams felt like the ideal opportunity to just hit him with the old eight ball corner pocket. Mm -hmm. You know, 1.3 million. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel a bit let down. Maybe he's not a big uh, fan of billiards. I don't know. Maybe perhaps Sorry, of, of what? he's bet a lot pool. Billiards, did you say? Yeah. I mean, perhaps, yeah. Maybe it, there's some... You never know. People get triggered by different things these days, but <laughs> <laughs> he could have just been very upset by something that happened one time. Maybe a ball hit him in his face at the pool hall, and he just doesn't want to use, perhaps use he that got saying hustled. anymore. Perhaps that. By his... Co-commentator, Mr. Shawman, bit of a pull shark. Chun, after showering, Pedro has taken the chip lead. So here, players will be going to that dinner break. We will, of course, be splicing the delay. So we won't be going too far. So we head into this final hand. O'Dwyer with the hijack open. This is something that you don't get to see when we do get down to the final tables. Obviously, these players are incredibly deep. O'Dwyer and Silver both with more than 100 bigs. Do you see these looser opens? Opens that would perhaps be passed on. And you see stuff like this. Silver going to just lead into O'Dwyer. On the 6-4 deuce, 
no diamond. And Edouard with the float, looking to outplay his man across three streets. I do understand, you know, Silva perhaps trying to rep a board that he thinks favors him. But also, Ace High still has some showdown, especially against a hijack open. So interesting that he pursued the lead versus a check call line. Maybe he just rolled a 99. <laughs> oh, Dwyer knuckles it back. Both players remain unimproved. And what do you do now in Silver's shoes? The old bet check bet line as a bluff. Would love to see it. Knuckles on over. I think based on Silva's willingness to check turn and river. O'Dwyer has to feel like Queen High can't win at showdown. Try and shake her hand like 6-5, five, 4-5 five perhaps, the defended. Yes, he does. Barrel for 25k. Silver with just ace high, obviously unable to look that one up. So players heading to that dinner break once again will be a very short break on our end as we will be splicing that delay. Big illumination, of course, was Pedro Garagnani just snap calling there on the river against Kiat Lu Chun. He's currently in pole position. 61 entries in this one. Currently 51 players left in the field with a few people looking from the outside in, perhaps going to re-enter as we welcome you back to the break desk. Maria Ho alongside myself, Henry Kilbane. Uh, Maria, we're going to take a very quick break. And then when we get back, more 60K action. So don't go too far. Short commercials and then more 60K coverage live from the JW Merritt here in London. We'll see you very shortly. <laughs> Broke the Guinness World Record. Welcome to the World Series the of Poker. poker the biggest event. poker site. Now larger than all of the GT Here we have a button versus big blind spawn. The flop is jack 10 deuce rainbow. The button c bets, and we call in the big blind. The turn is the 10 of spades. We'll see that the big blind is actually supposed to donk bet quite often here. Why is that? Well, if we go back, we can use this range comparison tool to see that the big blind's calling range contains many more 10x hands. That means that when the 10 pairs on the turn, those second pairs become trips, giving big blind the nut advantage needed to start leading out. GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live action prediction options on the Triton series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up to $250. Become a part of BetACR.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience.
from JNT. This is something that I'm not sure I've seen in police garb. He's <laughs> he's looking to put some other he's people in jail agent. here. Yeah, yeah, undercover. All right. As Doug Polk. <laughs> Sound a, happier. <coughs> not altogether pleasant. All right. Who can blame him? Ace, queen, eight. Second pair for Polk. At least now you have direct count. True. That's not red. A ray of hope on the flop yeah, and then added rays. True. That's not On red. the turn to a We're chop. Have to actually upgrade the pull away here on the river. And just like that, blink and you'll miss it. Double double for Ike Haxton. Whereas a knockout punch for Doug Polk, Randy. Guess we no longer need to ask the question as to whether or not this one's going to take shape like the Luxon Pay Invitational certainly rates to be doing so here as Polk's tenure at the FT incredibly short lived. Out. In ninth, earning himself $422,500. As for the rest of the field, they've locked up over half a million. There's the policeman's garb. More of a kind of resort cop, not really the uh, resort cop. You know, I mean, urban tactical team there. So what, like the St. Regis or something? Yeah, <laughs> like more of a walkie-talkie, but no actual handgun. <laughs> Pocket deuces here. Bit of a handgun for Loon Loon. Fires his stack into the middle and an ace four for Tim Adams on the button. Yeah, clearly Loon Loon needs to look for a spot to take it down pre. And Chidwick's got... The slightly better pocket pair, pocket fives. One, four, two, one, five, I think. There's a reasonable chance he continues here, knowing that Loon Loon is going to jam pretty wide in the cutoff as the shortest stack. Of course, Chidwick, keeping in mind the chip leader has got position on him. Does he want to put in 1.375 and fold if in case Daniel Cates wakes up behind? Looks like he's going to pay it off in the lead. So, Adams folds the ace, but of course Chidwick not going to fold the pocket fives. Wonder how he would have approached the fives had Adams flatted or come over the top, which obviously was very unlikely, but could we have a different scenario on our hands? Very, very possible. Lulu needs a deuce. Queen 10-6 instead. Prospects grim now for Loon. Board pairing queen on the turn. The we can chop. Pairs, you both chop. Yeah. yeah. Ten or a six. But instead, the king rolls off, and that will do it for Lun Lun. As Chidwick dispenses the member of the Malaysian delegation, Lun Lun, who obviously. Did well to earn his way here to this final table in the main. He will add a half a million dollars to his career. The World Series of Poker Online Series as well as the GG Millions. And check out Pocket Aces for Jean-Noël Torel. He's already had kings. He's already had jacks. And now he's got an amazing spot on his hand, Randy. Back-to-back -back kings for James. This yeah. looks like an amazing spot for him, but an absolute disaster. And much like a post-coitus Black Widow spider, this is a dead stack walking. Yes. Randy giving me that look. The nod. The snap. How disgusting is this? You mean the fact that the female Black Widow spider devours her mate after... Or... I, I really aces. don't want to see what happens if these two <laughs> aces hold, according to your description. Shall we take a flop? 4.4 million in the middle, the coldest of decks for James Chen. 
who's been tight-lipped about the fact that he had back-to-back -back kings. Turn doesn't help him. Two outs, one time for Chen. Is it there? No. And the four of hearts on the river gives us our third casualty already barely a couple of orbits into this final table as shades of the Luxon Pay Invitational paying a visit to us in the 125K main. For James Chen, yet another deep cash. This one earning him $705,000 and leaving us knocking on the door of a seven-figure score. Nothing he can do, and he knows it. Sometimes you you got to deviate, realizing that the ICM pressure is so intense. A couple kings here for Juan Pardo. The solvers haven't really accounted for JNT yet, have they? No, they, they, it scrambles it. Like, <laughs> what do you mean these are the ranges we got to input? Oh, my God. Ouch. JNT has already taken aces up against kings. That's how he showered James Chen. Here he is now, three betting to a million over the top of Juan Pardo, who is going to be powerless to do anything other than flat. Look at the hands. It's ace king suited and pocket jacks. A three or four way confrontation incoming. I'll take the over on confrontation. This is Oppenheimer. Why on earth would they cut it off there? We apologize. <laughs> we don't want to get the heat for that. That's not on us. If you haven't whatsoever. seen that hand already, where have you been? That was from earlier on today in the 125K main event here at the JW Marriott Grosvenor House. Which we saw Timothy Adams take down for over 4.1 million, but I highly recommend after today's stream, of course, after the 60K, to go back and watch the highlights for that because that is a final table for the ages. Chidwick with that four bet, and we don't know what happened. If you haven't seen it, you'll find out. For now, our attention, though, the 60K AMAX, the final No Limit Hold'em tournament of the series that we're going to be covering. The plan is to play 12 levels today and then tomorrow we'll be playing down to a winner. And it's currently Chun out in front after eliminating Pedro Garagnani. Nothing much really to write home about on that side of the frame other than that big hand where Garagnani just kept him honest with top pair. Right. I mean, we did see, you know, a couple of raises, three bets, whatnot, but I do feel like this portion being kind of the the point where some of the stacks are going to start getting shallow. We have a few more levels until the end of re-entry, and we'll see what the next frame brings. Yeah, and the three betting ultimately going to lead to you know, inflated pots, some people perhaps caught in the crossfire. Given that we are incredibly deep, we've already seen that up until now. And given the amount of eliminations we've had, perhaps we'll see it more up until that late reg ends. Yeah, and I also feel like when we look at the top of the chip stacks, a lot of players that are willing to play big pots. So I think that is going to continue as long as the players that have a lot of chips are the ones that are willing to put it in the middle. Well, let's throw it down to the main stage. Red feature table, blue feature table with some fresh faces. Late Reg still open as we are looking to kick things off here once again, waiting for the cars to be up in the air. Dan Smith, chip leader of Red Feature. Masashi, chip leader of the blue table after Forbet rifling it in with the ace four against Shulman's Queens. Backdooring into a straight. When do you. When do you read that? Like the last level? No, I read it. Did you read before you one level or two level? Ha. Yeah, I don't know. Fun table here. Katie, Masashi, Lee, Kim, Heath, Hecklin. On the red feature table, we've got Antonius, Orpin, Sion, Smith, Haxton, Seiji, and Boss Paul. Playfulness here, pre flop between Masashi and Lee. 
Not my work. Okay. Four. Fifteen thousand. It's four. It's four. It's four. Wonder how playful it's gonna get though, considering we've got top pair versus middle pair. Still the case here. See if Masashi can continue ah, to. My bot, my bot, now my bot. <laughs> my bot. Ah, he's got to check it on over to him. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of playfulness between the two, as always, whenever Cat Lee is involved. Masashi wondering if he. Can go for another bet for value here after checking the turn and getting the check back. Mm. And Lee perhaps wondering if his friend is trying to steal it from him. You know how sometimes you'll get really chummy with your neighbor because you don't want them to raise your blind very often? And then next thing you know, they end up taking advantage of the rapport you've built up by trying to triple barrel bluff you. And you're like, what? I thought we were cool. You just feel betrayed. I do. Yeah, I completely get it. I feel like they set me up, right? I feel like all the questions they asked about my life before that hand happened was really only for the moment when they can triple barrel bluff me. And not because they cared about how many dogs I had or where I grew up. Wait, how many dogs do you have? None. In fact, I already told you that, Henry, and you just don't remember because you 31? don't 31 care. Just kidding. We never talked about that. What's my favorite color? Never spoken about that either. Oh, okay. Now you seem so sure about what we have and haven't spoken about. I've we got the memory of an <laughs> elephant. <laughs> we've actually, you know, the sh considering the short time that we've had to spend with one another, we have actually touched on quite a few very deep subjects. We now. have. Yeah. Long may it continue. <laughs> on the continue is Seiji with top pair. Not giving Smith a whole lot of room to explore, perhaps, this open-ender. Yeah, this is a three-bet pot, CG three-bet on the button. Smith made the call after opening from early position. Ace, eight, six, open-ender. Smith check calling for 9K, then check calling the bet of 31K on the turn and doesn't get there. 34,000 in the middle. Showing up with nine high at the river is never what you want, which wow. is why you see Smith. You can't win if you don't bet but I don't think this is going to get a fold out of Seiji. We've seen Seiji involved in a couple of hands already where it's very clear he does not like to fold. And, and this this bet of 13k is purely designed to fold out hands like what? King Queen, the three bet? Yeah, definitely some of those hands that, you know, based on having the betting lead was able to fire with some e equity, but this is very clear now just All in. A spot where not only is Seiji going to look it up, but he is going to target that sizing as hands that he can beat with Ace-10. Yeah, sure. Catching up with 
the viewers that were absolutely fuming when we returned from break that they cut it at that point. A warm welcome, nonetheless, to all of you watching on YouTube and Twitch. I'd like to wrap things up on the limit Hold'em side of the series, the 60k 8 max. Currently, 64 runners in this one. Nine. Got some people showing up right at the end of the series for the first time. Several new names in the mix, in fact, as Boss activates with a 3-bet on the button. Axton with options. Just gazing off into the distance. I don't even know if Ike knows it's on him or if he's just like John Nash from Beautiful Mind just downloading whatever part of the game tree in front of his eyes. Try and figure this one out. That's ultimately the side to call and well. Jack of Spades in the window. Middle set for Paul on the Queen Jack tray. Explosive flop for both these hands. Ike with the open ender. Paul with middle set. Paxton most likely going to give Paul respect for his three betting range, though, and those are going to contain, of course, over pairs and sets here. The queens, the jacks, certainly possible. Threes, not so much, but top of range are not going to fold. Paxton. Best serve to just come with the call, I think. Seems to agree with you. I'm doing a six in the middle, 117 back. So the turn does break, and this now feels like shut down for Ike to go chasing an open ender. At this SPL, going to be difficult to be laid the right price. your favorite set right middle set yeah middle sets the best you love the See, fact that do you listen. don't yeah you love the fact that you don't block top pairs you love the fact that you can set over set somebody well, that was me saying they might not get the right price but 36k and three to one on a call Sorry, four to one on a call. Needs 20%, has 18. Yeah, Paul's hand's so strong that perhaps he just didn't want to lose a customer by going big and also, you know, would be giving them a really great price on the river. <laughs> oh, oh, my word. Well, keeping Ike invested in this one with the small sizing on the turn has allowed <coughs> Prince of Darkness to get there. <laughs> and Haxton just checking it over with less than half pot back now. Ike fresh off that seven figure score earlier on today in the main event. And Paul, of course, not blocking ace-queen, not blocking king-queen, not blocking any of the strong queen-x holdings that would always call twice. Of course, king-10 is of some concern. But 
You can't be afraid of oh. the monsters under the bed. It's just very unfortunate river card here. Yeah, snap call, of course, from ICC boss, kind of stroke of the chin, <clears throat> gaze up to the sky, perhaps, going to dwell over the previous streets. I think that is nothing short. It's a straight up cooler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. middle set. Yeah, a bit too little. <laughs> there we go. Hear him say it. I thought you drawing that. Drawing. <laughs> <laughs> King Arlene Ajard's favorite timepiece. Half point piece. is four. The ceramic yeah, white. Yeah, I thought I thought, I guess. RM. Uh, maybe go Put on. Leo Ruder in the I chat. So in this series, we've been making Definitely the days at the office call. fly by. <laughs> Appreciate the content. Yeah, Appreciate you. I thought you quit something doing that. <laughs> Appreciate everyone that's engaged with us, whether it be YouTube, Twitch. Oh. If you've been getting involved in the conversations on socials, try and poke a series on Instagram with a ton of sure. behind the scenes content, interviews with some of your favorite players, including Phil Ivey. Late last night, you can check that one out over on Instagram. And get involved in the conversation on Twitter as well. Be sure to tag <coughs> Triton. Maria, you are at Maria Ho on Twitter. Yeah. Myself, Henry underscore Kilbane. Let us know whereabouts you're watching from. Oh, wow. Who's Henry Kilbane on Twitter without Actually, the underscore? Actually, I don't. Yeah, you know, I might be wrong on that one. It might just be Henry Kilbane, but. <laughs> you don't know your own Twitter handle? No. No, it's Henry underscore Kilbane. Yeah, take a pic of your stream setup. Let us know where you're watching this Triton Poker series from. If you haven't already, take a couple of seconds to click the like button. Be awesome to bait the YouTube algorithm into pushing this stream to a wider audience. Who wouldn't want more poker fans around the world watching this coverage live from London as we with four ways to the Queen Jack Nine as Leonard flops the nut straight out of the big. Two hundred K starting stack in this one, boss. Paul finds the check. Now everyone drawing dead to Leonard's. Straight, who checks it once more. Wow, Leonard. We go Leonard. I don't know. Maybe I'm um, wrong. You say tomato, I say tomato. That type of thing. You say potato, I say potato. <laughs> Leonard, though, German. I'm going to go with Leonard. Or oh, maybe it is Leonard. Now now you got me second well, guessing I got you myself. questioning. Well, Paul might still be questioning the sizing he took on that turn card, the last hand, and in a bad way here. At best, can tie, but Leonard already there with the king high straight. Checking for a third time, spades bricking. Boss on the back end of getting stacked after flopping a set against the rivered straight. Does go for it and once more going to get snapped. So many straights. Back to back straights <laughs> with the king 10. It's, it says GG's, taps the table, still has a smile on his face and will likely be. Ponying up another 60,000 in order to re-enter. But still, back-to-back <laughs> -back hands always feels rough. Really unfortunate series of events there for Paul. Good. 
got Ben in the chat saying, it's not might be Leonard, it is Leonard. <laughs> he sounds sure. We're going to go with Leonard. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so. Called up his wife, FaceTimed her for the winner's pick, and then posed for the winner's pick with his wife on the phone. I love it. Well, you know she was here, but then she flew back, I think, yesterday. Oh, really? So she just missed him taking us down, but I love that she was still here in spirit and over video. Still in front here on the Queen 8 6, but the presence of a couple of overs and wet dynamic ball texture. Perhaps of some concern. Seven. Seven thousand. Do you think this bet size was a subconscious choice due to the fact that he's got pocket sevens? Or it's like on the level of, I want you to think that I have sevens because I bet 7K, but I actually don't have sevens, but, but I he do actually have, did sevens. have sevens. Right, but he wants him to think he has a hand better than sevens. Hmm. We'll, we're gonna, we'll get there. Anyone else confused? I actually am confused myself. I confused <laughs> myself. Like I had such a great point I was trying to make and then halfway through saying it, I realized that I don't think it was coming out the way I would have liked it to, but I had to keep going with it. That basically sounds like my entire existence. <laughs> just splurt things out and hope that... Nobody calls you Yeah, on just it, hope right? that it sounds exactly. somewhat good. Uh, I feel like my entire career has been built off of that. <laughs> when in reality, I, I don't have a clue what I'm talking about 90% of the time. It's worked for me. Maybe it will work for everyone else. Open gets busy in the cutoff. You know, I feel like from a content point of view, we need to we need to be a little bit more savage with the line of questioning that we ask our players. Like, I want to see Pete get out there and go around with a mic and camera and ask 25, 30 people, like, who tanks the most? You know, like, let, you know, let's, let's ask some awkward questions. But don't you feel like that one would have a unanimous answer? Probably, yeah, That's the point, right? Like, it's like, you know, who is it? The guy who happens know? to be the chip leader. In no, do you think? Who takes the most time per hand if there weren't a time thing? Because yesterday, home? Ike and Seth were kind of joking about some players that are on the other table, and it's like, okay, th there's clearly some, some options available. I mean, this here, for example, 30 seconds I'll never get back. We need to we need to ask these questions. We who, need to who, ask who's the best dressed? We need to ask the savage questions. Yeah. Best dressed I feel like is very clear to me at least who I mean, maybe not 
absolute best, but top three. Yuri's got to be in there. He's got to be in the conversation. I agree. I think uh, Linus Love, another one in that conversation. I think that depends on how you define best, but okay. Oh, you're not you're not down with the uh, Bruno Mars silk shirt kind of gold chain look that Linus is rocking. It's it's not my favorite, but also you know I think that's the beauty of fashion is it's a very much subjective. Exactly. That's very un. California of you, though, to not like Linus's style. I feel like he would fit in. We've been mulling this one over. Did I, did I really just turn trips? Yes, you did. Comes out with a half pot. Barrel on the turn. Not the best spot for Ike to try to put up a fight. Thank you. A quick dealer change. That's how things stand at this feature table. Blinds 2K, 4K. The 4K big blind ante. I believe. Reg will end at the end of this frame. Uh, hmm, perhaps not. Some strange updates over on the app, but at the end of this frame, a big blind 6k it will be a 15 minute break. Chip race the 500s. And the end of late Reg will be. The end of level 10. Leonard, or Leonard, we'll find out with the three bet. Cut off the hijack, running into the goods. American airline flight destination stack the German. Orpen started this hand with around 50 big blinds. Given the positions, the four bet does make sense. You know, if it were perhaps a situation where, you know, he doesn't have any light four bets and it would just look too strong, then he might have wanted to find the flat instead. But in this situation, mm. certainly could go light. Yeah, like. I like that insight there. I think it's very easy to, to look at that four bet and be like, oh no, you know, you're folding out the King Jack offsuits and whatnot, but he is going to have bluffs of his own. Wants to keep it balanced, of course. Thank you so much. Hmm? Do you think I did them? Is that for me? <laughs> Only the best for you, my friend. Only my half-eaten Tootsie Roll Pop, which, because of the time we had on break, I, you know, didn't even have the time to properly enjoy it as one would. I had to bite straight into the center and then just leave it there. 
for you to have. But also, for ice cream, I'm not really, you know, I just, I'm a <laughs> biter. Like, I just go in. Yeah, same. Because if it just melts and it just goes everywhere and makes a mess, who has time for that? And it tastes so good. Like, I don't want to patiently eat it slowly. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nope. Not blind for you, blind. So I had the best hand. Huh? I had the best hand. It's devastating. CG squaring off. That's one of the OG live grinders. I would have is the 60. Both players. Turn a straight draw. Seiji still with the best of it. I would have peeled when he makes it 60. Yeah. We were 100% I was going to throw you back. eventually come for the delayed sea bet. Just north of half bot, Patrick. Not going anywhere, of course. It would be where my owl with the cut sit, shot. But I didn't bring him today. Front door hearts do get there. 25k in the middle. Good, Mr. Rodrigo. Tony's just happy to take his show down, of course. But yeah, a lot of new names in the mix in this field. Got Nacho Barbero now out in pole position. Some Triton first timers or people that haven't been with us for a long time. Elio Sion, for example, last joined us in 2019, played the main event, also played the 25k 6 Max Turbo. Someone that we haven't seen in four years, just rocking up for this 60k. Lewis Spencer, another one. Okay, KT might be on the list for best dressed because that hoodie is pretty cool. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm liking the hand as well. These three of clubs. Not on that board, though. That seems to be all Elio. That is a cool hoodie, though. Yeah. That looks very... It's going to check through as Sion turns everyone dead. Two pair now for Masashi. I do apologize. Masashi, of course, not dead. Has boat outs. Yeah, but Masashi knows that it's no better than a bluff catcher here with the four liner out there and the flush appearing on the turn. I would love to see Masashi turn us into a bluff now. I know, I know. It's very early into day one. That would be very sick, but that would be... A play that, you know, for sure is something that I think players should consider in this spot. Of course, blocking nines full and can always have, you know, king 10, king queen... 
They can have like pocket queens that didn't see bet flop four ways. Have some of those queen X as well. King queen, king ten. I feel like the body language though. Let's remove that as an option. trip saver for some. It's been a long old grind. The no limit holding players. Those that were with us from the start that is. Not for Nacho Barbero. Currently in first. Cashed for almost four million this trip. In fact, in excess of four million. Took home the lion's share of the 200k A max. Three million four hundred and forty-five thousand for his efforts in that one. Soft bubble, the 125k main event final table. You know, you learn from me. It's the wrong one. Anything you learn from me, you do the opposite. Is correct. <laughs> Masashi is an absolute wrecking ball. I got to play with him this summer at the World Series a few times, and he certainly displayed, I think, all of the makings of someone who loves the game, willing to get after it. Six, six, you, you stand, you don't have to draw another card. Okay, okay. Not sure if Shulman is in the Masashi fan club. No, I don't think so. Six in the you just stand. But Shulman's been there before. Certainly not the worst beat he's taken in his Please many years of playing the game. It's not me. <laughs> it's not me, trust me. It's not me. I don't Wait, so Nine. flopping okay, top set on a... <laughs> Queen six. Where, where do you know me? In three board. In a Two spades, queen of spades in hand oh, against okay. ace four off, no spades. Deuce turn five river. Yeah, the, 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 Doesn't the qualify as like yeah, his worst beat. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, to that, get the yeah. diamond card. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's okay. Now seven in one ear, out the other. Oh, <laughs> what? Missed it. I'm sure it wasn't anything important, right? Then, well, you know, I was just engaging in conversation with you. Oh. Don't we do enough have, of that already? Have the audacity to... <laughs> Isn't that what we're doing? Six to seven hours a day. Feels like day it. Day in, day out. Talking to each other. Talking about people. Talking about poker occasionally. <laughs> Ben, should we go for yeah. 95? Should we go for under or over? <coughs> okay, under. Ooh. I bet under. Okay, there's some bets on the amount of entries. I'm liking this action. 95 under. So 95 Currently at 70. 95 will push. Three levels of reg left. Push me tie, tie, me tie. We're at 2k, 4k blind. Four, four level. Oh, yeah, three after this one. 96. 96 you 96 you win. So 95 you Okay. Okay. Wait, I need to uh One meal? Yeah. Tell Espen that he can't sure. <laughs> re enter tomorrow. Three way pot. Mew in here. If you win, mew in Bangkok, okay? What? <laughs> <laughs> Should we gamble on the amount of runners in this oh, one? Like one yeah, what do we want to bet here? The line seems to be 95. Sure, but so let's talk about stakes first, and then we can choose a side. Uh, medium rare. Same. Yeah, so 
I like my stakes as Kelly. Just gonna call. Then we'll just do a nice dinner as the steaks. Sounds good. Um, Rochambeau for who gets to pick seconds. what side. No, we can set our own line. Okay, you don't want it to use no. theirs? Well, I mean, I feel like the whole idea of, of this is you know, that we, we come up with our own line. <laughs> Although, I, I don't know, Catley feels like someone's going to be sharp with with this. Yeah, so, so we just use their line, but it, you know, I think if we trust Lee, then it's got to be close. So I don't care who goes first, but we can always make it fair. And well, you want to do rock, paper, scissors for it? Yeah. Or do you want to flip a coin? Well, rock, paper, scissors, just one, two, three, shoot, right? One, two, three, shoot. So just one, two, three? One and done, though, not best out of three. So yeah. one, two, two three. three? No. One, two, three, shoot. Okay. That's not how you'd normally All do right. it. Hey. <laughs> We've had a lot of uh, rock, paper, scissors gambling in the past between <laughs> Ali Najad and Randy Lou. Right, so the line that Lee set is 95 runners, right? We're about to rock, paper, scissors, and then whoever wins gets to pick the over or unders right. on that line. Right, and it'll be for a dinner. Sure. Okay. One, just... two, three, shoot. Okay. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, shoot. Ooh. Oh. Okay, paper, paper, almost. I thought I'd leveled you into. I know. Okay. Nope. Didn't happen. It's not gonna be that easy. Okay, so tied that one. You're living in my head rent free now. And you get all this time to think about what you're gonna throw next, but I don't. I don't need to. I already. I know. don't think about I it. know I before you know. But see, that's your that's that's your mistake is that you've <laughs> already come up with your next throw. I just do it in the moment. <laughs> all right, you ready? <laughs> Round two. Yeah. Oh. Got him. Got him. Champion. I was gonna go rock, and then at the last second, I changed it. Unbelievable. She went for paper, paper on me. Do you think I was born yesterday? Come on. No, but I was giving you credit for being on the net. Oh, just forget. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Uh, I see. No, clearly you're just a simpleton, but you're going to enjoy a very nice dinner <laughs> for free. So what side do you want? Well, I might I might not win the dinner. That's true. You're right. Yeah, th th that well, was ahead. just for the choice. Uh, God, it's a great line. I'm going to have to go under no. tw 24 more. I wanted the under. Currently at 71. Got three more levels. <sighs> I wanted the under. You can buy it off me. <laughs> okay, I'm just hoping that someone starts putting money in the middle. Heath might be tempted just with the time he's taking, but does check. Masashi King High has a little bit of showdown here. So you wonder if he'll just knuckle as well. Very reasonable check back, I think. So check through on flop, turn all the way down to the Six of Spades River. That's Kim now, finally. Try and squeeze out. Some value. And two quick folds. So three more levels until the end of late reg. Nacho Barbero on quite the heater here in London. Put on the cape against Doug Polk, of course, in that monster hand on the soft bubble where Doug rivet a set of threes. Daniel Dvoris with a runner-up finish here already in London in the 25k PLO. 
as well as three other caches. Vogelsang currently in third. Couple of bad beats in the 200k and 250k final table bubbled that 250k. Joined us way back in Macau 2017 for the first time. Love to see him wrap things up here in London with a victory, although, you know, we're meant to remain impartial in the booth, but big Christoph fan. It's Hecklin flops best against Lee. Now I'm hoping that that request that you made at the start of the day for it to just be single race pots all day <laughs> would keep the amount of runners down well based on what we've seen so far i feel like that's unlikely to happen but i still do like your side either way lee coming with the follow through with the two overs just hoping to fold out some random hands that can obviously turn best but hecklin just gonna go ahead and raise it up here denying equity two two overs but not the ones that lee has especially having some backdoor straight possibilities always nice as well yeah this is one of those ball textures against the big blind range i'm surprised to see lee kind of lean into it really does open the door for a strong player like hecklin to check raise as he's perceived to have more trips on this board on turn card, Lee picking up a gut shot to go along with his two overs. About a third pot size bet here from Hecklin. And that's a little surprising. I mean, I think for that size, if you're going to call with two overs on the flop and turn some equity, unless you think you're up against 4x and a king or queen would be no good, I would have expected to see a continue. But I think Hecklin's pretty happy with that result. <laughs> yeah, very surprised that I saw the facial expressions on Lee. Perhaps not giving himself... 10 outs, but rather four. He doesn't think his pair outs are good. You're going to be sweating the uh, the entry count now. Every hand that passes. Maria is now anti-sweating the entire field. <laughs> she just wants aces against kings, against queens, every hand. Yeah, no loyalty here. It's gone. Whatever favorites I had coming in doesn't matter looking for mass destruction he's just gonna flat you're not liking this are you well heckling will s squeeze surely and create a big pot <laughs> well, currently seven-handed Oh, come on. KT. Grow a pair, Hecklin. The pig. <laughs> <laughs> Gets to just defend with the 6 9. Okay, fine. How about a. Uh, Ace 9 6 board? Yeah, that sounds about right. 49k in the middle would be an absolute bloodbath if the case ace rolls off on a flop. Not to be. On the queen, 6-5. Heath with a very disguised top pair, top kicker. Ace of hearts for dessert as well. And has this board pretty much locked. Cyan as the preflop aggressor checks it over to Heath. And of course, Heath can have 
A lot of king queen here, queen jack suited perhaps. Queen 10 suited. Gonna go for a little deception, I think, with the check back and allow players to also catch up, which Hecklin promptly does. And that second pair for the Great Dane of the Triton series. Gonna be content to try and get this one to showdown, perhaps. KT with the lone pair of sixes. I'm, I see I'm rooting for these types of hands. Really slow. A lot of tanking. All the way down to the river. Um, I'm petty like that, Maria. Yeah, when I know. When there's money on the line. Or dinners. Steak dinners, to be precise. I actually do want to go to the Jean Georges here because I've been to the one in Aria, but which I don't love, but the one here has incredible reviews. Should probably look into booking that like now. I'm sorry, I'm. what's that? I think producer James is in my ear saying that I'm working all of the night shifts. Oh, wait, no, and the day shift. Okay, so I think I'm busy from uh, 2 p.m. to 1 a.m. until we're done here. So I'm sorry about that, Henry. Breakfast it is. You could still have steak and eggs, though, for breakfast. You can. You know, set me back 20 or 30 pounds. Absolutely nothing wrong with steak for breakfast. So Hecklin going to keep Heath yep. invested in this pot. 93k in the middle. I love the way the dealer just barrel rolled that three. Very light on the fingers. Probably plays an instrument of some sort. Piano. <sighs> Harp, perhaps. Well, all the dress draws miss, of course. The backdoor diamonds. The flush draw from the flop. The straight draw. That's why you see Hecklin leading. These 10% leads, we've seen this for the second time. I saw Smith do it earlier on with the 9-7. And this isn't going to get through Heath without a raise, I don't think. Just not very often that the 3 is going to change anything. Yeah, 7-4 gets there. But Hecklin called from the small blind, so... Not really going to have any of those, even suited. I think it's too weak to call from the small blind. And so really it's about Hecklin trying to represent some of that thin value with this sizing, which Heath is beating all of that. He's beating all of the Queen X with worse kickers. Of course, all of the Jack X. If Hecklin somehow had two pair on the turn. I think Heath would have heard from him with all those draws out there, but Heath ends up just calling. I'm trying to... Because he knows that you have the under. <laughs> they, I mean, look, they've got to back up the guy that's been here longer, you know, I've been singing their praises for a little while now. I'm trying to figure out what that card protector is. Of Heath. It looks really cool. It looks like a, a llama with a bow tie. Is it a penguin? No, it's a pe it's very clearly a penguin. Oh, that's perhaps you why need I need glasses. <laughs> perhaps that you sense. need glasses that work. Oh, I'd bet on that. Same way I'd bet on betacr.eu, the exclusive hub to predict your favorite player's live action outcome in the Triton Serie events. Receive a 15% bonus up to $250 on your first top up. Join now and start engaging with the sporting world today. And I tell you what, if you've been betting on Ivy, then you're probably up a decent chunk of change as 
He took down his fourth Triton Trophy last night, his third final table of the series, if I'm not mistaken. Similarly, if you've been betting on Barbero or Espen Jorstad, as you can check out the Ivan Liao Player of the Year leaderboard, I believe it is Espen currently leading that. But Ivy surely closing the gap by quite some margin now. All right, guys, jeez, it's a penguin. My bad. I'm half blind in one eye. I can't find the, uh, the rankings. leading here with the straight draw. Zion, not much to continue with. It's just going to let KT take it. to Hecklin in the cutoff with King-10 offsuit. Masashi looking to defend the 7-5 offsuit. Hecklin with the one third C bet. Come on, where are the coolers pre flop? Where are the big pots? Where are the cold four bets? Who have you paid off, Henry, for all of this check bet folding that's happening? You know, Lee been around the block and when he's going to pick a line live on TV I've got a feeling that it's going to be a sharp one don't forget the starting stack's 200k so you know even buying in now you've got 40 bigs it's tough to lose 40 bigs too many big blinds too many you know what is it too late to perhaps you know talk to Luca see if we can change the structure, maybe 25 minute levels. You can you can buy out. <laughs> can definitely buy out. Did get an update on the Ivan Liao Player of the Year ranking leaderboard from producer James Dempsey. Ivy and Tim obviously winning trophies in the last 24 hours. Tim taking down the main event earlier on today for 4,185,000. Has him currently in second, 947 points. Ivy. Fresh off that fourth title, currently in third with 877, but the player of the series and top of the rankings as things stand is Espen Jorstad, 963 points. See very early doors, but season two.
Season 3, I stand corrected. Perhaps still unaware that Ivy got the title yesterday, did indeed. 60k turbo. Being Carry Cat's heads up. Hackman with a 91% lock on the hand. Sashi does pick up a gut shot. I love how since we placed the bet though, Maria. <laughs> it hasn't gone up by one. This has literally been a snail's pace of action <laughs> as well. It's just absurd, actually. I'm not one to buy out of bets, but this might be, you know, there's a first time for everything. What Sashi wants to do here. Seeing he doesn't mind playing big pots. Certainly doesn't mind getting out of line either. And this is an interesting line to take because I don't feel like Masashi will have a ton of 3x here calling Hecklin's under the gun, plus one raise. The only hands he could really have that contain a three are ace three suited. He will three bet those sometimes, not all the time. You know, could have, you know, boats here, but doesn't really have just the three X lingering without being boated up. I mean, king three suited shouldn't be in there. Four three suited shouldn't be in there. Ends up checking back after Rivering Showdown and another very small pot going Hecklin's way. <laughs> it's okay to be bitter. Ugh. That has re entered, joined Punsri, Vogelsang, Zivalevsky, Was, Savannah, Jan, and Lim over on the gold feature table. of the suited eight. One with a much better kicker. Well, there you go. Oh. Oh, hello. Okay, finally. Yep. Up to 74. Yep. 75. 75. 75. There you go, they're sweating it. We, we get to sweat along with Lee and KT because they've also got a bet. Do they say 95 or 90, though? 95. Are you sure? Can 100%. we roll the tapes? 100%. <laughs> you sure it wasn't 90? Uh, Luca thinks it's going to be more than 95. <gasps> oh, okay. Now I like it, then. If Luca thinks there's going to be more than 95, then I like it. Do you want to buy out? No. <laughs> okay, all right. Don't say I didn't offer you the chance to. But see, now I'm confused. <laughs> is Luca saying that their bet is 97? Or does Lu Lu no, okay, Luca... No, so Luca thinks it's going to be 97. Tournament director, Luca Favaldi. He's got some spreadsheet open on his phone as well. I, now maybe I will consider buying out. Hang on a minute. Got DT in the background. 
Well, okay. You know, instead of, how about this? I'll let you buy out. Like, instead of getting Not buying out. Appy main dessert and three sides to share. Not happening. You won't have to. The bet's been made. Pay for the appetizer. 95 is All a push. Right. You need 96 to win. It's as simple as that. Three levels left. 21 more entries needed. If I lose, yeah, McDonald's for dinner. If I win, Hell's Kitchen. Yeah, I heard that it's a three month wait. So, you know, yeah. I, if I win, I'm not sure I want to wait that long. If you win, however, sure, let's, uh, let's put our names down on the wait list. You are spoiled for food selection and choices in Vegas and LA. Actually, no, Vegas more so than than LA. LA was once a food city, and a lot of people seem to think it's fallen off now. And it has. I'd have to agree. How about just? No more dusty hands. How about that? These two hands could collide. Certain ball textures. Not on that <laughs> one. <laughs> Jack 10 dudes. It really has been. You know, you asked for it. After the explosive final table, just the entire series. All right, Henry, can we just have a slow day today? And the poker gods were like, okay. Ask and ye shall receive. Hecklin turns a little bit of equity. Needs one of the fours that Scion happens to have two of. Oh, oh my. my god. I told you. Wow. These two hands can collide. Yeah, but certainly did not come down the way that we thought it would after the jack high flop. The flush does get there, so you wonder how aggressive Scion will play this set. I would assume, considering Scion seemed quite uninterested on the flop and the turn, yeah, that Hecklin is just going to come with the lead. And it's an over bet. And for that sizing, I mean, you just cry call. You're just never going to raise there with the set. <laughs> like, hey, buddy, you only had two outs there. I mean, if the five came, sure, you would have potentially won at showdown. Right. But who knows what the action would have been. That's a very sneaky straight. Yeah. I almost didn't see it myself. I was getting rid of the bluff. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sneaky straight. Main event champion, <laughs> Henrik Hecklin. <laughs> Took down the Madrid main. Final table domain in Cyprus earlier on this year. Well, I say earlier on, just two months ago. A bit of a rough stint at this series so far. No. How? But if he keeps backdooring streets like that. Perhaps this is going to be the trip saver. Oh no. It's up to 77 now. Hecklin, a very playable 9-8 suited from the small blind. Going to find the three bet with, I think, a combination that a lot of players will sometimes just opt to call with. You know, Perhaps some of the weak, weaker suited hands might want a three bet, but it is going to work against the 
king seven suited. Takes another one. So many deep runs. Ultimately coming up short. Thirty-three. Been a rough series for him here. Final table, the Luxon Invitational in Cyprus. So much variance. Not to state the obvious, but so much variance. Ace 10 now for Heath, going to go back to back. Didn't get to pick up the last one. Hopefully we work up with the Cowboys. I feel like we need J&T at the table to, uh, to get stacks flying in the middle. Sasha with the 6-4-0. Every hand an opportunity for someone to get showered <laughs> and re-enter. Ace, eight, seven. This could be one of them. Heath with top pair, decent kicker. It's actually with an inside straight draw. Yeah, Heath opening from the hijack certainly doesn't have to have connected with this flop in order to represent it being the pre-flop aggressor. And so... Wouldn't be surprised to see Masashi come along. I think especially the weaker and the wider the range is from the opener, then it can be quite profitable to sometimes be aggressive with these type of draws, but calling fair play. <coughs> Fucking the smoke machine. <laughs> Maybe, maybe walk I do way. think that the board pairing the seven, though, is an interesting spot for Masashi to lead because, say, Heath doesn't actually have an ace here and just has a lot of over cards and hands that are going to fire a C bet very often on that type of flop texture. A lead can certainly get those hands to fold. You it's wonder actually now. certainly going to have more 7x, right? Yeah, especially when you don't have showdown value with the 6 high. Might as well start finding some bluffs there. But here, just going to check fold. Up to 77 runners in this one now. And 12 levels today. Level bag and tag. Players will come back tomorrow, battle it out all the way down to a champion. And then final two days of coverage at the JW Marriott. Grove in the house, Triumph Poker Series. London Park Lane will be all a short deck. Said you were in Madrid. Played for 
before this you were in Madrid? I was in Madrid. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. I heard there's good stuff out there. And Love Madrid. Mallorca and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I haven't done any of it. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, Orson is coming in October. Oh, nice. And we're planning on, like, just doing, like, a two-day trip somewhere. Two days. Me and Orson went to, to Mallorca earlier this year for climbing. Nice. But it's, yeah, there's some very good stuff. Which countries have the best boulders or whatever? I know Finland has some really tough ones. Yeah, they're just probably scattered around. I'm not sure, actually. I mean, France has. Jump back into the action as enticing as this bouldering conversation they, between they produce a lot Heath and Kim is. We've got a three bit pop, pair v pair. Both players about a diamond in hand on the 10 6 5. The Vegas, Vegas is really good. Yeah. And Lee going to check so it on over to Hecklin now. Alex Honnold. Yeah, that's Your a the, pretty the interesting climber. line. I do Solo, think that, that yeah, red rock climb. a lot of the times great video. <laughs> we'll just see yeah, a really seabed bet yeah. from the three better, especially with an over yeah, pair like on really this board. Hecklin wondering. Very fun how trappy this could be, or if it really is just a little afraid of the texture of this board and perhaps able to get some type of over cards without a diamond to fold out with this bet, protecting the eights. Let's see what the ops to do here. It's the pot. This building, the SPR getting shallower. Just gonna call. 137 in the middle with 136 back. And the seven of spades on the turn now presenting an open ender for Hecklin. Yeah, I've been meaning to go to some places like a few hours from Madrid. Yeah, you wonder what that check call on the flop to Hecklin signifies. Are there hands here with, you know, perhaps one diamond, couple overs that play this way? And are you going to try to deny those hands equity? Or does this feel like something even stronger, like a flopped flush? <laughs> Hello, Nine of Spades. Well, Lee with pot back here, and you wonder after he's, you know, played this hand post pretty cautiously, what he's gonna make of what I can only assume is going to be a river bet here from Hecklin. Again, Lee sure could have some traps, could have just three bet with you know ace x of diamonds here, and just felt like he didn't want to lead the flop with the betting lead few, few just so too many folds Maybe from Hecklin like but like still feels like, like there's value like to be had yeah. he, he. Do you know the yeah. bet check Margo bet line like perhaps coming in here from Hecklin yeah. never a bluff Maria Moore like for confirmation he bias on our part he moved to Spain. he's rivered the straight Such a gangster. Yeah, yeah, Just going Lee's for it all. And this is incredibly uncomfortable for Lee. Yeah, well, on the flip side, Hecklin can certainly have all the flushes as well. Calling the three bet in position can have a lot of suited Broadway su suited ace -Xs, but also can have all the sets, straights here. A three bet pot. He opted to check on the 10.65. Hecklin bet 20K. 
The only hands you're really beating are, say, you know, the offsuit ace-x combos that were strong enough to come in pre-flop against that three bet, you know, the ace of diamonds, jack offsuit, ace-jack offsuit, ace-10 offsuit, I don't think is ever gonna be in there against the three bet. I think those would just give up pre. Yeah. So the ace really king narrow it down. Offsuit combos might four bet, might just call. You are blocking two queens, so ace queen with the ace of diamonds a little less likely. Nice fold, sir. Not a whole lot you could beat. Me getting away from it. Not getting attached to the queens. <laughs> Exchanges a little glance with Hecklin. Making it look so easy. See KT joking with Lee. The reason he folded is because he doesn't want to add to the total number of entrants. To 78 runners now. Hecklin again going to be involved this time with the fours. KT, the freshest hoodie we've seen in some time, the fishbowl, I think it's Dior, I'll have to ask him on break. Aggressive number, 35,000. That's the amount on request as Kim looks perhaps interested, but ultimately pitches whatever holding he had. Just waiting for the graphics to catch up. Ace Queen. Wow. Hitting the mark. Ace Queen suited, no less. Just giving a lot of credit, you know, to the three better. Three betting and under the gun plus one open. Wow, what a flop to Royal Flush draw. It's the American has perhaps found a way to win this hand. Although the Jack-10-8 board, scary fl flop to continue on with the Ace-5. I feel like Hecklin's range when he calls that three bet will contain a lot of hands that really play nicely with that flop. Going to flop a lot of pair and straight draws. Certainly 10x going to be a part of that range as well. Blinds going up to 3k, 6k after this hand. When you're traveling is that if, you, if you're doing problems that are the grade you would usually like to do. Scion turns a backdoor like flush draw. To do, mm -hmm. but, then you leave. but would hate to bl get blown off this yeah, equity. No, you might think there's going to be some 10x laying there in wait, wanting to go for the check yeah, raise, and Sion does make the flush on the end. Yeah. Sion's turn for the cheeky backdoor Bangkok. Finds it across turn and river. Hecklin just hoping to show down this hand against some ace highs. But Scion improved to the flush. It's 
certainly not planning to check for a third time. It's fun to watch. Yeah, they're incredible athletes. And Hecklin content to try and get these forced to show down. Not going to happen on this run out. Does come out firing close to 80% pot. I do apologize. 55k, not 65k. Around two thirds. The ace five clubs. Hecklin, considering the hero, it would seem, doesn't feel like a lot of over pairs would play this way, checking the flop. Got to get looked up. Hecklin keeping him honest. Elio getting paid as the two trade blows once more. One apiece. 192,000 chip pot going his way. Ding. Jason Kuhn climbing yeah. up the chip counts. Jason, Jason up to second. Got a few players with the re entry option. Ramin Hajiev, Sean Winter, Nick Shulman. Talking of re entries, just as I say that, Jonathan Jaffe and Eric Seidel re entering. Oh, thank goodness. 80 runners. Quick dealer changes. I've got a feeling this is good. it's going to be close. It is going to be close, but I'm I'm starting to like your line on the side of this bet. I think we're 15 off with two levels left. You feeling confident? You don't look confident. I don't. Look confident, but after Luca said that he thinks we're going to get 97, I feel confident. I think it's going to be very close. Maybe a nail biter. We get two fillers, actually. Two, two fillers and, and two <laughs> French fries. And, uh, <laughs> the usual that's for Patrick. Fourth medium rare plus. That, that's all. Thanks. Let's go, Patrick. Ordering the steak. So you're adding the ham. But French fry is not something that you usually see Patrick ordering. But, you know, there are days where, you know, you're carb cycling. He's what, sorry? Carb cycling? What does that mean? It's like when you eat carbs on certain days, but no carbs on other days. But you're not on a no-carb diet. You're just right, right, right. switching. It's pretty good. And if, if Patrick's doing it, it must be. GTO. I don't know. Yeah, he does uh, eat pretty late. Mike looks perplexed at the fact that Kerry Katz has limped in from plus one. Trying to put me on a range, huh? What, what, what's the range of this hand right now? I think it adds up to about 11. <laughs> <laughs> It adds up to 11. That's pretty good. I mean, for sure, 6-5 suited could have been in there. But uh, Haxton, with the big raise, doesn't shake Katz's King Jack suited. Oh. Wow, what a flop. Could be looks good. Went for the 6x pre, and now not a great board for Ike. 
I mean, even 5-4 right. <laughs> might stick around. So you wonder if Haxton wants to continue. Nope. <laughs> oh, did I say that 5-4 equals 11? It's two? okay. Put you nobody, know, nobody knows. 6, 5, 11, 5, 4, 9, but it was in the same range. The smaller suited connected hands. Huh? Use a time bank? You're nice, okay. Henry. Nice. Try. Thank you for not immediately correcting me really and just knowing that I would get there. Like, thank you for believing in me, you know? I'm really disappointed I did a raised pre flop. I'm what? disappointed in you <laughs> as well, Mike. Free flop. <laughs> I'm not. Must have rolled. Uh, I guess it worked out okay. We'll call it a top. high number. <laughs> you know, I made it six big blinds, right? Huh? <laughs> I made it a lot. Six. Yeah, but I was. I got that the part CK right. Charts. You did. The times tables, check. Okay. Yeah. Addition. What does that stand for? Gary Katz Iffy. Charts. Gary Katz charts. Yeah, yes. It's a different range. It's a, it's a very big <laughs> range. <laughs> Are there any folds? There in the carry cat's charge. Oh, yeah, if he jammed, I probably fold. <laughs> Almost did. I had a big hand. I just knew somebody wanted to pop it up. Probably a head free. Juan Pardo. Juan Pardo. Hero. Absolute legend. Folding kings done. correctly. Well, didn't let me check the chart, so that's probably why I called. The biggest stage in the world, <laughs> the entire poker world watching. Not an easy thing to do, especially the fear of the quote unquote. The man's yeah. walking on water, you know? He sh he's floating in here. He's floating into the 60K. I really think that's what makes these players as elite as they are and separates them from everyone else's. They're not worried about looking like an idiot on TV. And I think that is something that weighs into a lot of people's minds when they're on a feature table. But just having the self-belief and confidence to fold kings at the final table of that 125k main and not be concerned about the potential backlash of folding incorrectly and looking like a fool. I think that's a great point. And I feel like as somebody who has made a big fold and was incorrect. I feel like I still stand by the decision that I made in that moment because all I had was the information in front of me and I tried to make the best decision that I could. And you would think that being incorrect would have made me shy away from <coughs> doing that since I, you know, have played on streams since then, but it still doesn't. I just have to realize like I'm okay, the only sorry. person in the driver's seat mm. and not the keyboard warriors, and I can't worry about what they think. It's not their money. Wait, the keyboard for us. They're not. They're not buying action. Yeah, from a movie. Team for something. Yeah. Kind of sad yet inspiring. Oh, <laughs> people already in the chat being like, "Oh, it's totally different." I, I, I don't need to get into the hands. If I could do it all over again in that situation, I would still do it because of future game implications, <coughs> because... Is this a hand that I should know? I, I mean, I'm kind of surprised you that deal? you don't... <laughs> Not in the way that I would want to be. <laughs> it sounds like a fun hand. I have to check it out. I folded tens on jack, ten... Yeah. Seven, <laughs> all hearts, four-handed, three-bet pot to the flop. Four ways to the flop, oh, three-bet. I've, I've seen this hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a fold as well. Yeah. No, I do. I mean, like, I think it's a fold. I just think it's, I, I mean, it's just, it's just, it was just definitely one of those things where people are, you know... Are you going four Same ways to a flop? We go like four ways to a flop. I have like what? 18th nuts there, 16th nuts. You just have one of the worst hands you can call with. Like. I, I'm i going to be up against at least 30% equity. 
Neil Farrell shoved into three people behind him on that flop, and I'm next to act with two people to act behind me. Yeah, they're like for my yeah, tournament the hands life. Over and done with, like you just it's whatever you fold. What did he have? He had ace queen with the ace of hearts. Yeah, I mean. And the people behind me had like had some combination of some one person had nines, one person one person had like a suited connected hand, which could have easily just been hearts, like. Four ways you just assume like, yeah. what's a what's a girl to do? Really like, sure, you, I could I call? Too. Yes. As usual. No Did I reason. elect to fold yeah, because I wanted card. to save oh my tournament my God, life? Yes. So basically, you're saying. You're, Did I make the final table money. still? And was the chip leader going Probably into the final good. table? Yes. Scared money doesn't make money. <laughs> I folded I with like five outers on the 30 people left in the tournament, and I ended up being yeah. one of Here. six. Huh? You folded a pair? Don't worry, I didn't or? win though. I did. I, I, I believe but you. But that's right? my that's my hurrah for that. Did Ferraldo win? No, he also did not. He did not. Showers. I, I, I can find a better spot for you to punt it off today. That's true. Okay. Somebody wants me to explain backdoor Bangkok. Now, I would, but yeah, I, I don't even know what that so means, like Henry. Call, so, I five outs to hit. Now I gotta call the river jam. Like what say you? you? Love, You're the, the one river. using yeah, the river it. Jam, you may actually, uh, you may, may actually hit a corn. We're gonna have to actually get Joey Ingram on the phone <laughs> to explain that one. <laughs> oh, did he coin that? Yeah. <laughs> he, like he, he's a, he's a P PLO player, and uh, it's normally used for like backdoor quads. Just like the, the most unexpected draw, but in Hold'em, yeah, it's a lot harder. So I like using it for backdoor flushes. It's also just a joke. Classic Joey. So in Monaco, they, they withhold, they make the US withhold? No. Oh, in the US, the way around. Like if you're in the if US. If I win a million, they give me 700 on, on the gauge. And then I. And then the they take 30% just. And then you. They send it to the government and you got to apply as it. As a foreign, it's pretty hard to get anything. I mean, or. That's especially small. if I don't play many tournaments, then it's just like. Yeah, I can deduct point. tournament winnings, but if I just play a few a year, it's not really. 13? It's, not a, it's not a good situation. Yeah, especially if you're down. That's for high rollers, you know. Which is Can you just invent some blackjack losses? <laughs> no, I'm not as good at inventing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me that there. maybe just my I'm app is I would not use lagging and we have more than 77 <laughs> entries. Is it? No, en no most re entries since Granted, I last Granted, you would think the Monaco jails are probably mm. much nicer than average. They're actually much worse than you yeah, would think. Yeah, the problem is you end up in the U.S. jail for this <laughs> one. Oh, okay. Perhaps one for you here. Monaco doesn't want the money. Mm. Never root for a six so hard in my life. I heard the jails are brutal in Monaco. It's hard one to root against Orpin, but I'm going to have to do it this hand. My dad told okay, me that okay, was asked by the Monaco police in the 70s. I the space. <laughs> and the Monaco police is like a tourist guide. You know, you can ask anything. Where is this place? <laughs> they Doesn't find yeah, the two help. outs. I like here. Going to be heading to the cage to perhaps re-enter. Seiji to a stack and a half. Patrick living that good life in Monaco. I think it's the same system for Canadians in the USA. Yeah, I thought. It is. It's so annoying. A lot of countries. <coughs> Brazil has problems with U.S. taxes for poker yeah. as well, right? Uh, it's, yeah, it's kind of like so 30% of it. Yeah, same as Patrick is saying. Just enough to not able to play high rollers at least, you know. The police there are like tourist guides, apparently. 12. <laughs> 
Wind down a bit. Perhaps Patrick's food has arrived. He'll be done with it in 10 minutes, max. Haxton checking back on this flop. Hasn't really considered the part of Leonard's range that actually has his king seven dominated more, thinking that Leonard will have some interaction with that board, defending from the big blind. Fortunate run out for Ike, perhaps, as this ace of spades may now give him the chance to bluff for this one more credibly. It doesn't really want to give, perhaps, you know, some four X's and six X's, the kind of hands that aren't going to necessarily be leading the turn always, but have weak showdown. Don't want to give that type of hand a free showdown. 24. And Leonard was like, oh, it's so pretty before the flop. It was, so we're sticking with Leonard, yeah? Not, Le not Leonard. I might be just folding another free. Oh, it's up to 84 now. And there's so many people waiting to re-enter. So many, they can't keep up. They need more cashiers. Oh, and who are all these people just randomly showing up? Heibinger, Strava, Tang. Sit this one out. But like you said, right, it's kind of late into the series and people aren't as quick to, to get into the grind. Maybe they don't want to do the 100 BB grind. They want to have a nice dinner enjoy the nice day that it was it was a nice day come in with 30 bigs 13. just how the game is meant to be played oh and with Re-entry and Reg still open. The classic flip incoming, potentially. If we look at these stacks, 33 bigs. What do you think we'll get for uh, effective? Are you, in what? Are you in your third bullet? No, second. How do you think we'll get tomorrow, Danny? Uniques or just? Total <laughs> entries. Let's, be, let's, let's, let's go with a big number. That many? Yeah, that's fine. Is this three-day event? I hate losing this the bets. <laughs> you playing short back? All in. No. Very I salty right on now. On one day. Let's go on. Let's go on. It's kind of weird that I play all the other games, but not short deck. That's fine. Oh my god, how does I get that hand? Oh, fair fight. <laughs> slow roll. How's that a slow roll? Well, it took Maybe you 20 you seconds to show you your cards. Did you know this is the year of Ike? If I have aces, it would be a, if I have aces, it would be the slow roll, right? Pair the board. Just ask him, the, him the poker board. gods yeah, to punish you. <laughs> By doing that. It's been a great first hand, guys. Bullet number three incoming <laughs> sure for Frank Danny Tang. Yes. Oh! oh. Are we on GG? Short deck! Oh my god, that's disgusting. You know why he won? He whined. It was a legitimate whine. The legitimate whine always works. Well, um, Haxton's left with four big blinds after that hand. Wow. Had one foot out the door to go in for bullet number three. Instead, finds himself playing 70 I bigs. River pain better than anybody I've ever met. What? He takes river pain better than anybody I've ever met. I mean, I didn't slap you in the face yesterday. I just walked to the No, no, you, yeah, you did good. You, like, you were pretty angry. You, you left in a huff. But I left the room pretty fast. Though. Yeah, yeah. You had to go. In, you had to go yell. 
Don't worry. I didn't want to hang around and just, you know. Yeah. You just don't know what happens once I get back to the hotel room. <laughs> oh, come on. It's just not true. Yeah, you probably fall asleep like a baby. You probably go study the hand. What could I have done better? to steal. <laughs> I tell you what, Ike's got some fantastic one-liners. Ike is hilarious. He's got some absolute bangers. Mm. He's going to defend. With the 9 5 has got 3k back. Wow. Big hand. Goes for the stop and go. Leonard has flopped. Oh, you got straight draw. No, or do you? No, you don't even have the straight draw. I have the king has straight draw, and I have the queen. Oh, yeah, you do the king. All right. So we, we need a jack. Jack and a king, yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Almost fucking. Queen eight off. You're letting him get away with Queen 8 off. No race pet. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like it's another elimination. KT. Top pair against a set of sixes. Had the flush draw but missed and looks like that's another plus one. Where are we going for dinner? From my side. I told you, Jean-Georges. Mm. They have caviar on the menu, which I've actually genuinely, though, been craving caviar. Mm. Why well, do I feel like this is going to be the most expensive meal of my life? Ooh, and you know what goes great with steak? A really, really <laughs> good apple pie. Barolo. You know, perhaps. Sure. Yeah. No problem. You, you better hope you win this bet. Because if you Tish. don't. Oh, you're going to punish me? Oh, just if for you don't <laughs> win this bet. <laughs> just for all the speculation of what I'm going to order right now, you're going to try to get There's me. One, two, three, four, five, six potential re-entries. Currently at what? 84. What do you know, Luca? <laughs> same, same. So late re wait, Luca, late oh, yeah. reg ends at the end of big blind 8k. Queen. Come on. You trying to get this spoiled for yourself asking for the real time count. I'm gonna I'm gonna sweat it. <laughs> Sashi with the three bet. So for those of you wondering what on earth we're talking about, Kiat Lee and KT, Kanapong had a, a bet on the total number of entries in this. And Lee set the line at 95. So 95 being a push, under 95 being a win for Lee, and over 95 being a win for KT. And then Maria and I went for the old rock, paper, scissors. I chose the unders, and I'm now sweating a potential thousand pounds I think it's bill. good for you to you know have that expectation of how much potentially this will cost you because it's always worse when you're surprised you know you don't want sticker shock you don't have to look at the bill oh I won't look sure. at the bill I just hand them the I feel upset easier to bluff good players hand them the Amex and worry what about it later I don't know. We'll talk about it. Let's talk about it offline. I gotta think about it. There's just no way I'm winning this bet.
Hey, it's my favorite Austrian. From ace king to kings. Why are you coming so late? What? Oh, okay. Huge influx of late regs as we see Matthias Eibinger taking his seat. Right. Danny, some action. Pardo comes along really with the 10 7 of clubs. Uh, like Carry. Happy to see a flop with oh, like low connected part sure? of his big oh, blind yeah, defending right. range. Carry should uh, give commentary or stand up comedy a try as well. The idea was just too hot. Poker doesn't work out. It's 12th on the all time money list. Also, chatty and entertaining makes our lives in the booth a lot easier. Has he done commentary before? Never, and he's never just like, you know what, I'm going to jump in the booth? No, we'd love to have him. Get on in here. Pretty interesting flop, actually, as you can see. Tang with the overpair, but Pardo with the gut shot and carry with nines and sixes here. Pardo betting in position, check to by Danny, the original preflop raiser, and Katz calling. A little bit of concern, it would appear, that he is up against trip nines. Not a great turn card, just kills the action all around. Carry can't be happy about that turn card. Danny not happy about that turn card. And Pardo not the additional equity he is looking for in the form of a club or drilling that gutty. Just wondering if Pardo has any ace X's that he just bets the flop with on the paired board. Kings still best. Had to fade a couple of cards. Doesn't seem very likely that Pardo would check back trips mm. when the ace appears because Tang will have some ace highs that he check calls on the flop. And so you wonder if Tang will be able to go for value now because if Carey had the trips, I think Carrie would lead on the river. It does find the bet. I feel like it really opens the door to just get put in the blender, though. This river. I'd love to see Carrie do it. And Carrie just has all the nines, right? Yeah, but you wonder if the nines would just lead, seeing as the turn went checked around. Pardo considering calling here with nines and sevens. Big fan of that shirt, by the way. Very Spanish. The man responsible for one of the most talked about hands of the series, if not the most talked about hand of the series. Folding King's pre-flop correctly in the 125k main. That entire final table is literally a highlight reel. So I feel like this again, entire happened? series has been. It will live on I in infamy forever. You started, like, even in chips, uh, it's the shortest stack in heads up. Heads up, he had me three to one, and then oh, okay. the, my first all-in of the tournament was uh, ace king versus queen seven, and he got flopped two queens. But even at that point, he was like up four to one. Yeah, okay. It was like super short. Yeah, yeah. Well, then the second place feels fine. Yeah. If you... Yeah, he, he, he won every all-in. Yeah, right. it wasn't like it was yours to take. It's like... Oh, I was happy <coughs> with second.
Well, the man is on your screens right now. Both with the banner and at the table, of course, is none other than Patrick Antonius's first land of poker. And the flop app with the new functions aims to transform the live poker experience, connects poker players globally, locating venues with games running to reserve seats at such games, of course. You can check out the PM part of the flop app as well. It benefits the poker room's operations for managers, increasing player traffic and profitability through AI solutions. Sashi with the hand that sent Shawman packing. It's going to take it upstairs again. This time the suited variety. L3X Kim looks interested, but perhaps just staring Wasashi down. Found out from producer James Dempsey that Leo Sion took down the PPC. Yeah. Okay. 2.9 million in live earnings. You said A's four? Yes. Uh huh. Bit of an old school London local looking at his Hendon mob first recorded cash way back in 2010. Picking on me. It looks like he's been playing pretty high stakes ever since he started Reg in tournaments. Yeah, a player I think that has played online for some time, so perhaps played high stakes online before moving more into the live arena. I believe he was an online high stakes mix game cash player. Your neck of the woods. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Can I buy out yet? I'm really enjoying watching you squirm and sweat this more than I thought I would. I thought it was going to be a bit closer, you know. At least seems so confident. <laughs> exactly. You ha you got to choose. You won rock paper scissors and got to pick which side, which some might perceive as an edge. And what did you do? You squandered it. Not my fault, Lee's an absolute whale when it comes to finding the line. Zion, under the gun with queen, with King 10. Okay. A swingy stint at this feature for Hecklin. Yeah, I had a hero call that didn't quite work out for him, but you don't really get to be 
the mediocre Dane without making some hero calls and being right. Also had ace queen against the ace king of Ben Heath. Now a board that should very much favor the under the gun opener. But Hecklin with top pair from the big blind. I want to see uh, how viral that hand's going. Hecklin coming along for the flop bet and board gets even more coordinated with that turn card. Scion with the 10 of hearts as backup. Doesn't get there. Hecklin improving to top and bottom. A very Scary ball texture. Let's see if he can get some value from this. Let's see him reaching 35k into 51. Pretty interesting considering, of course, Scion blocking King Queen with the king of clubs in hand, blocking some flushes with the 10 of hearts. And probably doesn't think that just top pair can go for value, you know, just an ace X, but two pair certainly able to. And Scion gets away. Currently up to 87 runners. Mm. Oh, 88. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> it, you know, I'm, I'm not down against anyone in prop bets lifetime in the booth, but. You didn't know that, you know, most people just have a extra 60K under their mattress lying Suddenly around. Suddenly looking like it. Level. So a lot of people, Max Lay Regging, Taylor Vaughn Kreigenberg, Nick Shawman in for his third bullet. And as certainly. Uh, there's so many people waiting to re enter as well. You're right. Okay. I've emotionally detached you're myself from the already? out. I am. Wow. McDonald's, it is on me. My treat. Happy meal. With an apple pie. You wish I was as cheap of a date as Ali, walking in with the McDonald's bag oh, the other disgraceful. day. Disgraceful, just letting the team down. It's like, come on, Ali, some class. Heath raising on the button, king nine offsuit. Hecklin just going to move all in. 38 big blinds. Yeah. It's like, you know what, Heath? You took half my stack with your ace king against my ace queen. Have some of this. As we are heading into the break. Chip race for the 500 chips. Chip counts brought to you by betacr.eu. We're heading into the final level before late reg closes. 88 runners in this one. Daniel Dvoris leading the pack as things stand. Still an hour left, or a level left, I should say, as we welcome you back to the break desk. Maria Ho alongside myself, Henry Cobain. A very, I don't want to say chill, but there wasn't as much carnage as there has been at least earlier on in the day. Yeah, maybe we're just used to seeing an unprecedented amount of carnage, but 
you're right. Uh, not a whole lot of huge pots. You know, some hands we did see get to the river, but of course, just was never a cooler situation post. And as you mentioned, you know, now the, sh the people that are late regging start with about 30 big blinds. So they're not going to have that much room. I feel like in these next levels, we will probably see some fireworks and, you know, very close to um, pre-celebration on my side for winning the bet. But I I'll wait it out. Well, talking of fireworks, earlier on today in the 125K main event, it was non-stop fireworks, kind of similarly to last night on the bubble where there were several all-ins to get us down to that FT. And then from the get-go, Doug Polk with the king-queen running into the kings. And then that hand that is going viral, the one that Maria and I have been talking about on several occasions throughout the broadcast, one part over with kings. You know what? I don't really want to spoil it. It's just it's one of the most insane hands. So for the viewers that haven't seen it already, got a little treat for you guys on break. Maria and I are going to step away for just a few minutes. But honestly, don't go too far because this commercial break isn't going to just be adverts and commercials. We're going to be showing hand history highlights from the carnage that ensued earlier on today in the 125 go. We saw Timothy Adams take it out for 4.18 million. Yeah, we're not going to leave you guys hang this time. This time you're going to get to see the full hand. And also, you know, no spoilers from us, just in case you didn't get a chance to catch it earlier. But we were both privy to, and I was sitting in Swearing my hotel in the room. Group chat. Exactly. Just expletive after expletive. But you Quick break will from understand us. why. Enjoy the show. We'll see you very shortly. Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard. Practice against GTO on all your devices. Study any situation from pre-flop to river, we've got it all. Upload your hand histories to uncover your biggest leaks. We have hundreds of hours of coaching from top pros, cutting edge theory articles, and custom study plans to help guide your poker journey. GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Introducing the all-new BetACR.eu, the premier destination for sports enthusiasts. What sets BetACR.eu apart is our exclusive offering of live-action prediction options on the Triton Series. Experience the excitement as you predict the action while watching your favorite players live. But that's not all. By opening your account now, you can take advantage of our incredible offer. Receive a generous 15% free play on your first top-up, up, up to $250. Become a part of betacr.eu and elevate your live sports engagement experience.
sometimes you you got to deviate, realizing that the ICM pressure is so intense. A couple kings here for Juan Pardo. The solvers haven't really accounted for JNT yet, have they? No, they, they, it scrambles it. Like, <laughs> what do you mean these are the ranges we got to input? Oh, my God. Ouch. JNT has already taken aces up against kings. That's how he showered James Chen. Here he is now, three betting to a million over the top of Juan Pardo, who is going to be powerless to do anything other than flat. Look at the hands. It's ace, king suited, and pocket jacks. A three or four way confrontation incoming. I'll take the over on confrontation. This is Oppenheimer poker edition. Atomic. Truly nuclear. Explosive four bet incoming. Ra radioactive is this scenario. Geiger counters going nuts. I mean. One could not fault Stephen Chidwick for maybe thinking. I block both of the hands that are actually out there right now. I'm suited. A delightful four-bet candidate. He's in there. Look at the jack. Straight into the muck. Love that from Daniel Cates. Mind you, it was a cold four-bet in front of him. Oh, boy. Wait, did JNT say all in? Or not? Oh my! I, Did you hear I that? I heard all in, and for a second I thought it was Pardo, but his lips didn't move. I mean, I don't know that it matters, but obviously you don't love to hear it. I thought I heard it, Ollie. Now I gotta ask you this: Is verbal action out of turn binding, Randy? It is if it doesn't change the action. So if Juan Pardo. Calls. I believe he can change his mind. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know the exact ruling. Given this situation, it's quite tricky. But it's a big statement to hear someone say all in with these 40 big blind stacks. Efforting, by the way, in a quick discussion on the sidebar with producer James, what the implications of this out-of-turn verbal declaration by JNT are in terms of Juan Pardo. If Pardo were to raise himself, then JNT gets his action back. This if he flats, though, James... Okay, so we're being told that if Juan Pardo flatted, he could force the all-in from JNT. Not that with these two hands specifically, Randy, anything different is going to happen. I mean, this is... But, Ali, he's using multiple time banks, actually thinking about folding these two kings. There's no other reason. Because it's insane for JNT to still jam. Look at the stack size. This is number one and number two in chips, and he's saying, I want to commit all of them. Out of turn. No way. He folds two kings, Ali. Is it seven, six? Yes. Mind blowing. I'm actually speechless. As I have to imagine, Randy, that it was JNT's out of turn all in that had everything to do with Juan Pardo finding the muck and miraculously sparing himself. Look at this. He suspected he was up against aces, and he was right. This, I have to say, in all the years that I've been doing commentary, Randy, is the most insane hand that I've ever observed pre-flop. I agree. What an amazing fold two kings. And Chidwick showing acute optimism as he says, sounds like spades are alive, only one hit this flop in a 16 million chip pot. Number one and number two.
Chidwick has JNT covered. That's the only mercy as the five of diamonds on the turn leaves him drawing dead and leaves me absolutely shell-shocked. Juan Pardo has another life. He folded kings off of a 20 big blind stack. Do you know how insane that is, Ali? It's it's ins it's ridiculous Let and me tell you amazing. Something. The other day, down one of my internet rabbit holes, I'm not... Well, massive shout out to the producer for cutting that off as Ali Najjar was about to retell one of his uh, internet rabbit hole tangents, but enough time for us to at least digest the madness of that hand. And Randy really honing in on a fantastic point that, okay, we can fold kings in certain situations, but Juan Pardo was 20 big blinds effective at the time of that fold. And I think... That has got to be one of the greatest folds, if not the greatest fold, I've seen, at least pre-flop, given the setup. It's just insane. Right, and I still really believe that it just goes back to JNT acting mm. before it was his turn, saying all in before Juan Pardo had a chance to act, and I think that made all the difference. So much credit goes to Pardo for finding the fold there because a lot of players would have felt like maybe they weren't going to get it in great there given all the action but still would have just sigh put the chips in and let the cards fall where they may do you think that the jnt announcement of all in was the the key decision kind of i personally do um but we definitely want to ask juan pardo yeah. what was going through his mind i think i would love to hear his thoughts and in the aftermath just the breakdown from his end you know i don't know if anyone's had a chance to speak to him but i'm sure a lot of his friends probably can't even believe he found the folds yeah it's it's such a sick fold to make as well because you know that that's the that's the hand that's going to be talked about for the longest time and to to get it right the the poker world can be so quick to like judge when it comes to you know, talking about hands from the comfort of, you know, the PC or the sofa, but Pardo correctly laying down the kings. And, uh, yeah, then going on to ladder a couple of spots. Uh, Chidwick obviously crippled after that hand and then ended up busting out in sixth. But, hey, you know, just nonstop action at that FT. Highly recommend you all checking it out after we wrap things up here today with this 60K. Uh, event number 13, plan is to play down to the end of level 12 today. We have one more level of late reg. Currently led by none other than Yuri Zivalevsky. 88 runners in this one so far. The Brazilian out in front. Daniel Torres in second. Lundlin in third. Lundlin, by the way, fresh off that final table as well as we have ourselves two new feature tables. And a uh, bit of a treat for the viewers. Shawman was Tanjuan, Lim, Volgsang, Jostad, and Jan over on the red feature table. Then on the blue, we do have that chip leader in Yuri Zivalevsky. Sat alongside Barbero. Seidel, Haxton, Volkman, Garagnani, and I can't even pronounce this gentleman's surname. David. We'll stick with David as we throw it down to the floor <laughs> once more for the final three levels of play here this evening in event number 13. I'm going to give it a try. Miss Mischakowski. David Mischakowski. Do, do you want to give it it's, a go, Maria? It's definitely a lot closer than some of the other ones that you've taken a shot at. I haven't butchered <laughs> any other name. This is the first name Ever. that I've crossed. Mischikowski. You give it a go. Mischikowski? There we go. Fantastic. But David, you know David, what? David, Big Dave. We go way back. Yuri Zivalevsky leading that blue feature table. Webster Lim leading the red. And Danny Tang leading the gold courtesy of that four outer against Ike Haxton. Let us know your thoughts in the chat about that hand, obviously, that's in the talk of the town, not only here in London, but around the Twitterverse. And of course, let us know how to pronounce that name if we did butcher it. To apologize to David, perhaps have the pleasure of bumping into him, getting that clarified. It is in my contract to butcher a certain percentage of names. 
as to be expected from an incompetent Brit. About to get on the way. Last level for people to late reg as we throw it down to table seven, main stage. Note your best dressed candidate doing his best to live up to the name. Reminds me of, uh, you know what? Don't worry. <laughs> but it's not even just best dress. It's well-groomed. That hair swoop. Just say it. Never a hair out of place. Best looking. It's okay. Like, how does the hair not move? But it doesn't look like there's the presence of gel or hairspray, yet every hair perfectly in place. Definitely can't be done without the assistance of a blow dryer, perhaps a curling iron. Combs it a hundred times each night and each morning. Pedro going to pounce. David late regging. He's got that like Chaz Michael Michaels hair from Blades of Glory. <laughs> Looks like we're up to 91 players, Henry. Whatever. All right. Seidel passing on the deuces. First to act. Barbera right behind with the ace jack. And Ike going to fold. You're not folding. As it looked promising with the Queen of Spades in the window. The Ace of Hearts, Eight of Clubs, tucked in behind all Nacho Barbero. What a series it has been for Nacho. Sorry. <laughs> How <laughs> dare we cut away from Nacho's humming? Oh no. Shit. Oh, be careful. I was just joking. I think he's. Yeah. I think he's. I think he's. Sure. To the red feature. Jan, Jorstad, Vogelsang, Lim, Tan, Was, Shulman. Aren't Was and Shulman like best buddies? They're quite close. I, I wouldn't say best buddies, but very <coughs> good friends. Okay. Definitely go way back. They've played a lot of mixed game together. A lot of Bobby's room action for these Did two. Yeah. It's always, uh, Maybe like when I don't know, you know, defending. sat next to someone you've known for years. Sixty <laughs> <laughs> k behind is the two exchanger. Is that right? Yeah. What do you play? Um, what? <laughs> and they boom. Huh? No, it's right and there. And they boom. It's right there. Exactly. But I feel like it's some magic trick. All, you don't get into practice, uh, 
to play while well my back turn on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually thinking of it as this year from time to time. Potential trouble on the horizon for Jan. I guess no, right? Now I do. Yeah. Now you do, okay. Because for remember. quite some time I didn't. Manages to I find the check back though. And what and a check I back it is because the turn has now presented a flush draw wow. for Eric. You do? Yeah, I mean, I played. Yeah, not quite comfortable, I think, with his kicker sometimes with that check back seeing that the small blind did come along can certainly have king queen you queen play jack like more during like wq and public of the online and the are you going to play like more than just the sunday or yeah yeah from yana and now faced with an interesting spot after the check back of whether he wants to overcall here or if perhaps he's not loving queens and threes with the 10 here as an overcall. Wasserson with the widest range defending from the big blind. 77. Oh no. Oh, well. <coughs> This is quite interesting. It is, but at the same time, should Tan elect to proceed here with the Queen Jack, you'd have to assume that Yan would knuckle back most rivers. Yeah, certainly can buy him free showdown. have to be somewhat concerned about Eric, of course. But undeterred. <laughs> Sorry, Eric, just the entire poker world watching. Who's your oldest friend in poker? He's not poker, I just said on TV. <laughs> oh, we did. We will. It's going to get Eric. clipped. It's and already out there. We can't do anything about it. It's already doing the rounds well, on Twitter. Good news is that Yan is now oh, no, chopping. No, not like this. Bad news is not only did what Wasserson say go out on air, but he also would have rivered the best hand. King Ten of Hearts. Hmm? Why? Why? You're crazy. <laughs> Why are you calling me crazy? <laughs> kind of brutal. Kind of brutal. What, what are you talking about? It's like beyond kind of brutal. Fuck nice risk. Thank you. Holy fuck. No risk. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I know on the turn already. <laughs> Looking to Nick to commiserate, oh, but Nick man. didn't really give him much. Only God wants me to win a chip this week. <laughs> wow, bring God into it. God made him red. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Couldn't have been his own brain. <laughs> He's very smart. Hey, guys, Espen is God. You, you need to be careful. God. Wait, what? Wow, that's really, really very so tilt. <laughs> very, very tilt. Shit. Wow. <coughs> Maybe I should still call the raise. <laughs> Just two friends playing <laughs> some poker with the giggles. Giving us the giggles here in the booth as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Eric bring, bringing God into it. You're just having so much fun, <laughs> like.
No. no. <laughs> Thank you. How was your break? He, he was, yeah, he's got me fucked up. Ooh. Right now. <laughs> this, this is. Have you been acting like this all tournament? You just bring it out of me. Oh, man, pro. Showman with a gut shot in spades. Well. Yeah, certainly you're not going <laughs> to float that flop and turn that much equity only to check, but Wasserson with a quick call. Everything's funny because you have a queen, right? <laughs> <clears throat> What's hitting Shulman with the the speech play? Everything's funny because you have the queen, right? Really, it's a bad river for Eric. Wow, Shulman finds it. There you go, you heard it. <laughs> These two players have played a lot of hands oh against one another. <laughs> oh, man. I've never seen Shulman break poker face mid-bluff. <laughs> but there it is. Great TV. I pitches I it. I can't control myself, man. <laughs> I have a big fucking hand. You got me really <laughs> fucked up, buddy. Ah. <clears throat> Shulman getting away with one. Oh, the King 10 has me spinning. <laughs> so a couple of rough <sighs> hands for Woz. Crazy. Just an empty seat, they just call it just raise Queen 10. <laughs> <laughs> Feels a little disrespected <laughs> by. I'm a fucking straight draw up there. Yans, raise there when Was called. It was two tone. <laughs> uh, some flush draws to try and deny against. I hope I bust before my food comes. <laughs> I think you don't want to know that your friend just bluffed you. I mean, Shulman just said you don't want to know, Poppy. 267, thank you. How about yourself? Uh, 204, thank you. Here, you ready to how much? 24? Did Jan say what his chip count was and then say thank you to Shulman after after hitting him with the old uh, thanks for the double up prematurely? Unbelievable. The hands that we've kicked things off with here. Seabet from Shulman. Gonna climb up to 260k. I don't wanna know because you blocked or you got that. Blocked. <laughs> 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 you turned the gutter in a first row. I had to get the stage too. <clears throat> Terrible card. Yeah, I mean, I would have paid off a spade too. I wouldn't have folded like. Anything other than a jack or a ten, I guess. Yeah, I got lucky. 
No, if it had a spade, that would have been better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Jackson Tons in there. <coughs> I can't pull them out. Yeah, oh, I get it. Probably not, I'm probably not supposed to live here. What are you munching on over there? You are. And I'm probably supposed to call the river. Twix. A little late night chocolate. Wow. <laughs> While saying he hopes he busts before his food arrives. You know that's bad. Normally, people play tighter when they're waiting for food. Was wants a GTFO. All in with King Queen suited. 18 big blinds. Could get the spin from Schwan. Open from the hijack. Knows that Was wants to go home. <laughs> Is done with it. Oi, as we say. Given all the speech and the shenanigans at the table, I wouldn't be surprised to see Tan spin the wheel here. I would love to see Shran call. You know, we're at 92 players. <coughs> Wasserson will have a lot of small middle-ish pairs given the position that Schwann opened from. And Wasserson looks like he's okay. interested in taking a high variance route right now and fives? Oh, Schwann will oblige. Fuck. I, I like to remain impartial in the booth, but <laughs> I kind of want Eric to win. Like I want him to stick around. You feel like there's no well, to be fair, I'll give you this one. I want Wass to stick around too because I love the duo of Wass and Schulman. Oh, wow. I was three, four. I was really far off. <laughs> <laughs> Who's five? <laughs> okay, good Just luck. Just dead. Dead on the turn. <laughs> Jesus, this <laughs> guy. <laughs> oh, man. What is it, Mark? Just a little. Have a look. Yeah, a little bit. Turn it around. Yeah. The other way. Yeah. Huh? No. The double left card, double spot. Ninguno pasó. Nothing against these guys, <laughs> but it's a highly entertaining feature table. GGs. He was. Come back speaking Mandarin at the next. Yeah, I know. You're right. What? I didn't. <laughs> I said, no one's impressed with Nacho speaking Portuguese. He needs to come back speaking Mandarin at the next yeah. try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think sounds be more fun. Cantonese is very, very, very good to speak here. Yeah, true. They all speak Cantonese. Paul and all this. And it's nice because he knows how to do the Brazilian accent as well. That's pretty good. He's bad in Spanish. He's good in Spanish. <laughs> No, I know absolutely nothing. I can understand no, you if we speak slowly. Yeah, but, yeah, but he, he speaks. Yeah, yeah. I just know the Portugal. The Portugal, yeah. Very important. Quite important. Is Cantonese and Mandarin similar or like? like no. He's in Spanish, maybe. Mm. More different, I think. A bit more different, yes. maybe, yeah, but yeah. similar. No. Not very. Uh, yeah. Ike's just that guy, isn't he? Yeah, but just knows the answer to everything. Yeah. And, like, he genuinely knows the answer. I'm not saying that facetiously. So ridiculously smart. We need to come up with something different. Oh, we should ask him. Okay. Yeah, well, like you speak Cantonese, later. right? Yeah, I speak both. Both? But your first is Cantonese. Yeah. Bigger difference than like French, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese? Or Thank like you. 
Maria just gave me the last bite of her Twix. Much appreciated. It's so good. Quite similar, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, that thing is it's a little bit more different. Well, but like someone potential double up spot here. here. They hear Cantonese, can they follow, they follow nothing? For David. Oh, okay. Opening from the cutoff. <laughs> Queen high board, Yuri. Out kicked. Why is that? In the big blind. So deep, too deep. Modern yeah, day cooler. Yeah, like 50 language, not language. Uh, 15 different? 50, I think more than that. 50? Yeah, in China Five itself. Zero? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if you know, but like China is like. It's very big. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people in geographic are big too. Like. <laughs> I know it's very big. You can see why Yuri is fast is playing. Beijing or like David opening Shanghai off of 23 like bigs. Shenzhen, like the rest of the places is like from the cutoff. They never speak Chinese. Like never. Yuri also I mean, wants to they can speak Chinese, but they, they wrap the part it. of his range that unless could unless they need to. be yeah. some of or those draws. See, and yeah, also yeah, knowing that a lot of turn cards could kill his action. Language. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that is an action card. It was already an action flop, but now Yuri with top two. David with the king of spades, though. Just around pot back. I gave up right away. Speaking looks very difficult. Like speaking, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I was just learning out of the book trying to read I felt like yeah I'm making a little bit of progress I might be able to do this the first like lesson where I tried to speak with another person just <laughs> no way it's like Japanese, incredibly it's uncomfortable of course for really David but, like, it's very easy yeah. to speak no, I think I is that that king of spades if, really I, if my life depended on it I'm not sure I could learn Chinese Pretty sure if your life depended on it, you would learn Mandarin as well. Like, you're a smart man. <laughs> 204 in the middle as the Queen of Spades wow. rolls off on the river. I Yuri boats up. Is quite the card. What a disgusting run out. <sighs> Second nut flush for David. Probably isn't too concerned about boats. I mean, I think Yuri will have fours here defending out of the big blind and possibly sixes. Sometimes, you know, sixes against cutoff open 20 ish bigs effective might just go all in pre certainly doesn't have tens full it's gonna have like queen six suited queen four can suited have, as well yes can have queen six suited but also just a little less likely again when you're david holding a queen and also not gonna think that yuri has the big ace x suited and off suit holdings because those would have put him all in pre as well yeah. But very concerning to see your opponent barrel again after check raising flop, betting turn, and then going 20k on the river. This sizing, this 10%, <laughs> is this like Yuri saying that he'd like turn a small flush, like a 7, 8, 9, 8 of spades type hand? Yeah, it certainly feels like blockish slash. A little weaker value hands. Ah, it's oh. gonna it's gonna get David to go for it. I think he's put all of them in the middle and gets snap called, of course. Yuri with the successful induce. But it was also just a hand v hand situation for David as Yuri extends the top of the chip counts. Showering David's King Queen. That really is a rough run out. 
Get one for the road on the way out. Ninety-three runners. Wow, this is so close. There's actually a decent chance we will just push. Unless you got spoiled already in real time. I'm sweating this on the delay. It's more fun. Three-time champion. Third on Malaysia's all-time money list. Getting to work on the button. The nine-time bracelet winner, Seidel, with a complete whiff. Yeah, I mean... Maybe your conceding is reversing no. the over somehow. Just it's look, like look someone standing people. up. Look at the people waiting to to jump back in, the eliminated players. There's no way that Punat doesn't re-enter, KT, Sean Winter. Oh, yeah, Just yeah. congratulations, you know. You win. Dinner's on me. Very exciting. What, McDonald's drive through <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. The problem is, is we can't go on a day where we both start at the same time because I'm going to order so much food that I'm going to be so tired after. So it has to be on a day where we get done early, but you're never on the early shift. So it really might have to be like the next trip. You need to start saving up. <laughs> start a little piggy bank for Apply for a credit dinner. loan right now. Call up American Express. Nacho. What a series it's been for him. Cashing for over four million. Couple of rough beats as well. If I may say so myself. Mm. Put on the cape incorrectly against Doug Polk. Thinking of something here, perhaps with the A7 of clubs. Back door, not flush draw. The old back door, Bangkok. <laughs> and now, perhaps going to get sticky with just ace high. Yeah, and you wonder how often Yuri can really even barrel again considering Nacho will have some do sexes, of course, the suited combos, and of course the eight X's as well. Okay. Yuri though, still coming with just about half pot And on a double-paired board, Ace High often 
rates to be best, especially against a button opening range. But probably didn't expect the second barrel out of Yuri too often when the board double pairs. This is what makes him such a tough customer. 130k in the middle. <laughs> and Yuri gets there. Going to be the first player in the field to cross the million chip mark. Wondering if the second call on the turn is a little concerning. You know, maybe some deuce X will play this way, even though there's not going to be a whole lot of deuce X's. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me to see him check back, but it is Yuri Zivilevsky. Yeah, only going to get, you know, value from worse if he's up against, you know, ace highs and king highs here. But Yuri... <laughs> and this is why... Yuri is so incredibly tough. Just 80K in a spot where Yuri very rarely can have bluffs here, but Nacho also a little confused as to what hands can go for a triple barrel here. You know, would even over pairs play this way? You want to put on the cape. So it'd be incorrect. Similarly to the hero call against Doug Polk. Here bet flop, bet turn. Now barreling again on the river. There's part of me that wants to hero with Ace High, but at the same time. It's like, well, if Nacho can have all the deuce X, all the eight X, and a lot of the flushes as well. But how often do you think with that run out, Nacho thinks Yuri is betting wow. flushes on the end and maybe just not enough, even though Yuri's a sicko? Yuri getting value up to 1.1 million now. <laughs> <laughs> Look of disgust on the face of Nacho. Not happy about that one. How about this for a setup between the three Brazilian players, Bruno wow. Volkman, who came runner up to Pedro Garagnani in that 30k turbo bounty. Pedro flying from plus one, Yuri now three betting. Well, the good news for Yuri is that Volkman only has about 20 big blinds, but this is. Still a cooler. Oh, 
Has he just announced himself here, given the size of the three bet? Volkman just tanking for balance and making sure that, you know, he's not going to go all in too quickly with Garagnani to act behind it. <laughs> that sizing from Yuri, though, certainly not one that's going to fold. <laughs> I love that. It's good to have friends in poker that you can just share laughs with. Jack 10 on the flop, too hard. Jack 10 on the flop, not looking likely as <laughs> Zivilevsky <laughs> is drawing to running kings. And is dead on the turn. Oh, double up for Volkman. Close in on the end of late reg. Basquiat in the chat saying natural GP player of the year last year. He was indeed, and he's currently in second this year, looking to go back to back. <laughs> you know, Nacho is still shaking his head and sighing about that hand. It's too good. Well, on the app, it says 99. <laughs> I'm not going to gloat. I'm, I'm just going to say that, uh, yeah, you know. Can I translate from the TV what you said? Okay. Yes, please do. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, yeah, you know. Pleasure doing business with you and happy to make any other bets with you anytime. All right, booked. <laughs> Fastest lap around Hyde Park. What's going on? I guess it's just that time of the series. Everybody in a fit of laughter. I mean... Just the 76K open from the button with a dead small. <laughs> Bro, I always play with these chips. I play with this. I turn 76. There's always the off the chance that Nakio uh, has, like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna... Misclick. Wow, yeah, not it really not was. This time, not this time. I it... Wow. I do, I do one misclick at tournament. Yeah, so he thought they were 5k chips with the 1k chip. But sometimes I misclick with aces. <laughs> nah. I did. I stuck Linux. Like on purpose? On purpose or no. what? You mean the, the squeeze hand that you... Oh yeah, that was good. Ah, it was a squeeze? It was a misclick? It was misclick? a misclick. Yeah. Ah, I thought it was just a squeeze, like big squeeze. It was, I said it on TV, it's 100% a misclick. Ah, okay, I didn't know that. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. I was, I saw the blinds were 40,000. So 40, 40, I mean, tried to make it 130. Because he was so short under the gun. Yeah, under 20 blinds. Okay. It worked. Better than it expected. Worked. You never know with me. Now you know. It can't be 93 suited. It can't be aces. I have to do balance on the mistake, right? I, That's right. That's the key. <laughs> in all things, balance. What? Balance in all things. Especially mistakes. At least it come when it's not too important on this one. <laughs> at least it come when Linus has King Jack suited. 35. What? I said at least it came when Linus had King Jack suited. Yeah. Crazy. That was a good play. 
No, by him. Oh, yeah. Discussing a hand from the other day in the 250k, I believe. Uh, ambitious. He's an ambitious guy. <laughs> Linus oh, back jam, yes. King they Jack suited. Late mini entries. <laughs> Mr. Sean Winter. I hate a mic, I'm not gonna talk. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, this could be an entertaining last couple of levels with I mean, this cast of characters. You, want, you don't have the mic yet, so you can, you can say any stupid thing you want. I oh, just misclick for a change. Lines are in five cents. I misclick this one, you're okay, too. Sean, perhaps yeah. steaming, I don't know. I misclick and it cost me a ton of entries. Thank you. Uh, that's cool, yeah. Sixteen. And I'm, I mean, I misclick a size in to not to use the time mark on the jump instead of like verbally uh, saying. Pretty cool. Do I need a mic? Yeah. I misclick a tournament. <laughs> pay more attention, I think. I think I should pay more attention. Probably should naturally, you know, playing a bit for millions of dollars throughout the series. What? Paying attention seems like a, a strong investment. I should, I should pay more attention, I swear. Could you imagine that? Oh, no, it's time. Imagine Maybe if he, he started trying super oh, yeah. hard and just wrecked everything, though. It would be so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, like this, I like, I'm not really... <laughs> what is he doing? I wonder who that was directed towards. Do love the needles at the highest stakes. And if you want to come and join us, take part some of the highest stakes tournaments in the world. You can qualify for Triton events over on GG Poker, our title sponsor. Talk about qualifying opportunities. You can qualify from $25 into the 25K. Win yourself a package. Premier High Rollers Tournament will talk, take in GG millions to even greater heights in 2023 with all new features and benefits. Of course, the WSOP Online 2023, where you can become the next WSOP Online Champion for as little as one dollar. I'm going to start using that size in 10 BB. It's probably... Excuse me, can we mic him up? I, I want the audience to hear what he has to say to the world. <laughs> yes, come on guys, what are you guys doing out there? Let's work a little bit, please. Okay. <laughs> yes, I like it. Somebody has to be paying attention, not me. Yeah. Not me. But Haxton's all in's gonna get through. Do you have a gun for Jaguar Fiji Pequena? Oh, I want to say too much me. Can I get a D? Who do they just call a fish? <laughs> in Portuguese? Chamomile tea. That one would be lovely. Is it them? Such a whale. <laughs> Man, I'm short now. <coughs> Set with love, of course, as always. Who's big boy? <laughs> oh, I'm scared now. He gave me the speech and everything. Yeah, but I never say that with the nuts. You have 20,000? I only get five. 200,000? I First hand. Second hand. Oh, yeah. Because I got six and eight. Third, actually. Third hand. I only call because um, it's you your have, it's your, you have seven it's four off. It's your year, but it's not the, it's not your trip. <laughs> it's your year, but not your trip. That's a strong strategy. <laughs> Nacho no, definitely you know in contention for, for whose year it is. He grabbed on talking me into calling. It was pretty sick. I think. I the battle is Seven between him 
Chris Brewer, yeah, I was gonna fall, Ike Haxton. And we were playing on the TV, you know, so I called. I said you were talking about that ham, but maybe you're not. Back to the outer table where I've got to say, it looks like Espen's been eliminated. Not me? Well, not the case, he's just been moved. As he's actually been on a bit of a spin, up to 296k now. A lot of late regs in this one. 105 runners in total. I got absolutely showered. <laughs> Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close at the end. Close right now. I know. Highly regard. Ibinger, 25 bigs to start the hand. Oh, with the blind level going up to 5k, 10k. A lot of shorties out there now. That 200k starting stack. The late reg as Ivinger flops a gut shot. Town with the overpair. <laughs> Look at the way Tan stacks his chips. <laughs> that would frustrate me if I were his opponent. Has an overpair, three-way pot, definitely could use protection from the overcards in the mitts. Ibinger, 35K to see one more card. This isn't worth it to him. Got to remain disciplined at these stack depths. Not to state the obvious, but every pot is worth so much. I did a little research. Remind you of home, Maria? Chess scene. <laughs> Took a hit. Took COVID. Like there was West Coast, like of course. I don't think so. <sighs> Talking about the sunshine that we saw today. Of course. There used to be some clubs where people would play Blitz, but like obviously the park scene is very cool. It's not me, yeah? Bucket hat on display. Oh, how did the bucket hat bit go over yesterday? Fantastic. I missed it. Fantastic. I assume you were busy sleeping. Well, blinds are up and late reg is officially closed. Was, what the line, was the line was 105, right? <laughs> What's the line that we set? Service. Anything to make you feel better. You still lost. May I bring you the sesame <laughs> honey chicken salad? Five of diamonds teased us of a potential flush v flush situation. And perhaps we're going to get teased for a little while longer as seven of diamonds was now 
present the flush draw for both Shawman with the nut draw. Tan drawing to a jack or an eight. Shrine still electing to check, which is interesting. You would think that sometimes he would fire the turn as he'll have more 7Xs and 5Xs than Shulman will, opening from under the gun plus one. Now completely bricking his draw, but very likely he's up against ace high and probably doesn't think that a bet here on the river is going to get it done. Shulman happy to check back. Wow. Where's the diamond? <laughs> On the river? I don't know. I was in the mood to call, but <laughs> there might be an amount. <laughs> Love Tan. He's one of those guys where you, you, you've got to get used to him. Over the the next few series, I mean, this guy has two modes. Okay. Mode one, the electric vehicle, you know, quiet, probably underslept, maybe not fed, perhaps. <laughs> just you know, just folding by bidding his time. And then there's the Ferrari, mm -hmm. just zero to a hundred. All like gas, that. no brakes. You know it. To play some of the most ridiculous cash game pots that we've had at Triton. And and when you think of the phrase ICM is for poor people, he's the reason that that phrase exists. I mean, many deep runs, final tables where he's just like, you know what? I'm sick of you pros trying to push me around. I'm all in. Yeah, just... We need a wild card like that yeah, in the mix. It makes it more fun, case right? Case of point, what, what mode is this? I mean, this mode is I'm a little bored. I don't like playing passive. And oh, I want to take the betting lead. Exactly. And you wonder for Lim, you know, a lot of these players. Be like the only Western player in like a club in Russia, you know? have right. enough experience with one another. I'm told people would not be welcome. Yeah. I mean, that kind of makes it even better. It's not welcome now, bro. Like, just a little cold. Bro. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Fair enough. But I'm not, like, good enough to be like, oh, this guy can play where I'm right, yeah. you know? They're just... What kind of? Yeah. Discussions of games in Russia, perhaps. You playing it back, Emin? Fairly decent sizing on the seabed, and you know, if Lim wants to come along for one and hope for some <laughs> nice turn cards, it's a little more costly. I think for something like a quarter pot or neighborhood of 30 percent, he yeah. might have found the call, he won but the Schwan found the sizing that wasn't worth it for Lim to continue there. And see what taking the betting lead will do for you. You can turn queen six of hearts into a winner. I assume they play with the cube. I mean, given it's to, with points to a number, yeah. I would assume it's involved. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Love that gammon. Great game. No, but, oh, this card. Yeah. It feels like a good card, so I'll give it to you. <laughs> kind, of, kind of warm, so probably someone has on it before. <laughs> on me, right? Rarely do you see people just show up towards the end for the 60K. <laughs> yeah, very rare, that. David. Rare, I wonder why. Yeah. Perhaps just 
missed the bus <laughs> to get them here for the start of the series and they are watching the stream along with the tens of thousands of people that have and decided to just, you know, come down. Yeah, that must be it. Have you never done that before? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that I've flown from the U.S. all the way transatlantic to enter a high roller event. No. <laughs> On a whim. No. Perhaps you should try it sometime. Yeah, okay. Maybe that from you. is uh, where well, you've been going wrong. How do you know that? How do you know that? You said red ace? How do you know that? I don't know you can say. Shran, can't give all well, your you secrets said red away. Ace, right? And then he showed a red ace. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. Okay. <laughs> Everyone checks for marked cards immediately I this hand. Man, Shaum is a gangster, right? He just doesn't care. Like, what zero you eating, X. By the way, when you came here, what was that? A chocolate shake? Chocolate ice cream. Oh my god. <laughs> You're living the life out here. <laughs> Every day, fruit plate and chocolate ice cream. It's a perfect David seems to be doing better on his second bullet. Opened by David. Flat by Vogel saying with nines and Ibinger finding a beautiful hand. Jacks off of 21 big blinds. Goes all in and I think you could imagine that when it gets back to Kristoff, he'll be looking it up for that stack size. Certainly Matthias could have Ace King, Ace Queen, Ace Jack. Two hundred ten. Feels close, but I mean, tens definitely a call. I think against the range that Ibinger is willing to squeeze for twenty bigs with. An incredible lay down at this stack depth, but given that it was an open from under the gun and a plus one flat. Wow. wow. Bravo, Vogel. Very nice. Very nice. I think he has his answer if he asked Ibinger if he had a pair and Ibinger said yes because I don't think Ibinger is taking that spot with eights or worse. Good fault, Christoph.
Gotta get me one of those bucket hats. Oh, you had to give that one Some back yesterday. Someone just taking the microphone for an absolute stroll through Hyde Park by the sounds of it. Thank you for that. Whoever that was. Wait, you didn't get to keep the bucket hat that didn't. you used for the bit? You had to give it back? I had to give it back. I want to know who the culprit was. <sighs> just ruined the eardrums of several thousand people. I feel like it's Yan. Yan's always the guy that I'm suspicious of. Start with that 70, yeah? 69 to stop. Yeah. Cheers. In trouble, perhaps, for Yan. Short stack, trying to get something going. So you gotta go for a stop and go here. Didn't realize that Yan was this short. Yeah, Yan ch choosing not to shove all in pre-flop and said, seeing a flop, perhaps feeling like he didn't have that much fold equity pre off of stack and now connecting mm -hmm. with the flop. Going less than a third pot It's a little bit eyebrow raising worthy for Smith. Yeah, really intricate part of the game tree here. It looks so strong, right? When <laughs> Is this what the kids mean when they say off tree? Off tree. <laughs> this is as off tree as it gets. The flat, the lead, the call off. Yan for an ace or a four. I think Yan's the, the microphone culprit here. Well, if he is, then I don't think you're rooting for him. Oh, oh the bottom pair trip draw. I'm very excited to turn over that ace four. I think he knew it was coming. I wouldn't say excited. I was just like, like okay. I got this fucking guy. I mean, I was like, I'm not voting. What's the rest then? <laughs> <laughs> That's just some not folding here, okay? Uh, Light-hearted exchange between Dan and David. Tip counts brought to you by betacl.eu. Heading into final 45 minutes or so of play. Tan leading the pack with 60 Six bigs. It's Yuri Tivalevsky leading the field. 106 runners in this one. 59 players remain. So we will be getting confirmation of the prize pool very shortly. Give it a spin in the chest. Hey, where can I follow with the live updates? You can head over to the Triton right. Poker Plus app. Download it in the App Store or Google Play Store. And you can sweat along every hand from every player okay. in the tournament from every table. Definitely worth okay, <coughs> downloading and swaying along throughout the stream.
Kristoff. <laughs> Folded flop and down to 20 bigs. We'll be pleased when he finds out that he made a good fold, but sometimes when a spot doesn't come up for a while and you just start blinding down and you wonder, was that the chance that you had to perhaps get more chips? Sevens against the plus one open. <laughs> Does open the door for Lim to come along for the three way affair. Closing the action with the eight six zero. Oh. Well, oh, flops best on the 9.83. Rainbow. Two overs in the gut shot for Tan. Does obviously have the overpair range advantage. Couple of overs to Shulman's sevens. Go for it. I'm just trying to rep the strongest part of his range, you know, possibly hands like ace king, ace queen would just check this board, but <laughs> over pairs clearly will bet. On a lot of turns, would put this pair of eights in a tough spot. Yeah, no. The seven's hitting the mark, the eight six. Similarish hand. Keeping town honest. Thing about a player like Schwan is you know that he's going to be very aggressive when he has the betting lead, <coughs> but that doesn't mean he can't have it. And it does feel like if you are going to go ahead and see bet that flop multi way, and there's this brick on the turn, then you do have to go for the double barrel and try to fold out these weak one pair hands. A big fan of this turn bet. North of two thirds. And if Lim finds a call here, I think it will be a little more based on Schwann's image than anything, I think. Most of the time, players would just fold the turn against most opponents under the gun plus one range. That well, gets really interesting because Tanner's bricked, but the king of spades on the river is a serious card to be concerned of. Or Webster. Tan empty the clip here. Two eight nine in the middle. <clears throat> yeah, even a hand like Queens or Jacks unlikely to check very often when the king appears because it doesn't seem to improve Lim's hand a lot. And if Schwann had a hand like ace, king, king, queen, just trying to get Lim to fold the one pair hands with the double barrel, certainly can easily go for value on the river. It's weird because queen jack actually beats quite a few draws as well. Jack 10, 10, 7, 7, 6, some diamonds. 
such a gangster. <laughs> this man. 195. <laughs> We've seen Webster make some monster hero calls already this series. For Lim, definitely hates to see that river card and the triple barrel come through from Schwan. I think it's just a matter of how often do you think Schwan is going to be double barreling with hands like ace king, king queen. You know, would he have queens and jacks here still for value when he bets that size? Would he go smaller? Or is this really more like a river top pair? type of scenario. <clears throat> and of course, some obvious one. draws from Schwan's side. Obviously, Jack-10, backdoor diamonds. Lim doesn't block any of those. Yeah, that's a great point. Unblocks um, all of those draws. Doesn't block Queen-10. Ace-4, Ace-5, diamonds. <clears throat> all the straight draws. I think Lim's going to come up with the call. Gangs the call from Lim to scoop a 679,000 chip pot and vaults himself up to third in chips on the leaderboard. That one's got to feel good, Maria. That one even gets a <coughs> chuckle out of Kristoff, which you don't see too often. <laughs> TV table. Love to see it. What an amazing hero call from Webster. Really took his time. Just think that one through. We have <coughs> the numbers in. 17 places paid in this one. Min cash of 100,000. Champion going to be walking away with 1.6 million. Two seven figure payouts in this. Yet again. Kita Batsyakuski leading the field. Shulman a little less giggly without his friend Was, but perhaps we'll see a little liveliness come out of him when he drags a pot. Hood up, you know. Local saying, looking to get involved when that hood goes up. Yan limping with the ace five from the hijack. Certainly a little unconventional. Off of 16 bigs here. Vogel saying with a similar stack, just one more big blind. I got a pen instead, just less hassle. I am sure you would have. How do you feel about this limp? I'm sure it's the best. <laughs> from Yan off of 16 bigs. By your in standards. A late position. Yeah. Ace five off. I, I think it's what the kids call off tree. I'm not part of that club. But certainly does seem very. How do you do it without mixing it with tobacco? Unorthodox. I just, <laughs> it's not that I taste it. My body just doesn't. Maybe off tree, but not the call off tree against Vogel Sayings shove. <clears throat> I think I know who the culprit is. <laughs> you pick up on that? Yeah, but are we really that close? Yeah. Does it really travel that far? Yeah, it does. I wouldn't know. The sunshine Truly. travels hundreds of thousands of miles.
20. Shulman with a couple of red nines from early ish position. Service? I say early ish, plus one. Doesn't get much earlier than that. As Yan is happy to take the rejam spot. The King Jack suited Hi. for 15. I was order food. I'm a chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream? Yeah, thank you. Send some to the booth. One of Yan's kings busy in Ibinger's hand as Shulman says, let's spin the wheel. Late in the evening, 320, 1,000 in the middle. Shulman can hold here, back up to around 40 bigs. <clears throat> yeah, and standing up, not totally out of his chair. So far, so good for the Red Nines of Nick. Two cards to come. And draw it to six out once. Oh, it's paint, but not the paint that he needed. Sometimes you go for it. Sometimes no belief. Shulman up to 40 bigs now. Just a bad Climbing job. up <laughs> the ranks <laughs> to north <laughs> of average. Very good. We get a clock that doesn't flash. It's good distraction. I think it's very, very good. It says you didn't appreciate it. 20. We're gonna pitch it. Can we, can we get a new clock for the future table? It's flashing. Big hand. <coughs> Always tempting <laughs> to tango with Nacho. See someone in the chat saying Phil Ivy still in. He is indeed. Currently 16th. 52 bigs. Very healthy stack. Is it for sure? For sure, it's gonna be Monaco. I think very likely. Zivilevsky, David Beckham look like. I could see it. Appreciate <laughs> you pointing that out. Very convenient place. He would be very, very good. Well, so it's not convenient. What? It's not convenient. For you that you live on the other side of the world. Yeah. It's okay, you fly private jets, so it's the same for you. <laughs> I don't fly private jets. What? You don't? Yeah. Why, are you broke now? Pedro. Ready to go in the cutoff with sixes against Winter's Open. I don't think that there's much consideration here for Young because he's not going to close the action. Winter will still have a decision when it gets back to him. Even though Winter opening from the hijack, I know Ace 10 suited looks really good, but I don't think. You're often going to be performing too well against both players. Oh, Yuri. 180, right? Yeah. After showering David with that nut boat, the second nut flush. Now looking to shower his fellow countrymen. The final Hold'em event of the series. 
I saw a lot of viewers asking, you know, what about the short deck events? Are there still any? And the answer is yes. The first one starts tomorrow. It does indeed. Be picking up coverage of that after we wrap up. Mm. <laughs> I think I got the nuts on the turn. <laughs> Sean Boy, Winter makes the fold. Sixes. Never loses. <laughs> Pedro in rough shape, but is live. Gotta say, in the middle. Zileski hasn't been doing too well against mm. his fellow Brazilians in some all-ins. Well, why would you say that? <laughs> Just yeah. trying to yeah, speak that six into existence. I don't want it to Maybe come. Ooh. I can't make the nuts on the Either turn. side. I am going to feel really bad about it, though, even though this is on delay and I have nothing to do with it. Mm. All no, right. He's dead. No bueno. Bueno. He is dead <laughs> on the turn. No bueno. Even I understood that. Yuri Shia. regains the chip lead. Now joining Nikita Bazikuski with more than a million. Up to 1.2 to be precise. I thought I was going to win. I looked away for a second. I looked back. I, I thought he had pulled his lure all in. It was, it was like, like he didn't care. And he were six, 12, 12. about to have a heart attack. That, that was the second best hand I've been dealt all week. I, it looked like, I don't know, maybe that's why I thought I was going to win. It looks like that. I Ace Jack suited, apparently the second best hand uh, Winter's Pedro. been dealt all week. Well, luckily for him, Yuri's keeping him out of trouble. Yeah, I think so. Not that cold. Pretty cold. You live in Vegas, it feels like natural. Bad I'm lucky. Side down, the small down to just 57k. I had you beat. I don't know what to do there. Yeah. Flip a coin. So again, late reg closing this. $6,360,000. In the prize pool, champion going to be going home with 1.6 million for their efforts. 17 places paid with a min cash of 100,000. You had me beat. Yeah, yeah, that's easier pool for you. Hmm. Chidwick, 12 big blinds. Gonna put it all in the middle. 175? 70? 145. Chidwick, the man involved in arguably the biggest hand of the year, or at least will be one of the most talked about earlier on today in the main event. Gets the jam through, picks up the blinds and the big blind ante. Yeah, fully expecting the clip of that hand to go viral. It already has. You're not online. Be more online. <laughs> How many views are we up to? I don't know, millions. There's, diff there's different, uh, different posts. A lot of people talking about it, of course. You can check out Triton. I'm very superstitious about the miss, uh, miss deals. I'm gonna, I play very tight on miss deals. You guys should know. If I be with you, I have it. I have it. Go Arlene Jart. Apparently, showered himself on air. Did you see? I did see that. You would have asked anyway. You're gonna get a better hand, actually. 
Do you remember? Oh, yeah, I remember his That was insane. Oh, he no, that, that was actually sort of interesting. Like, yeah, he got ace 10, and he got, he, he would have ace jack, and he got ace 10. I probably wouldn't have shoved ace 10, except there was a dead jack, which made it a lot better. Yeah. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> I say very super sick, I fall. Oh. How much? It's currently up to 126k views. Like 61. On Twitter. And I'm sure there are other versions of it, the full form version. That's the clipped one. I like thinking about it with the ace tray. Well played. Nice hand. Oh, Ike doesn't care about missed deals. Imagine Ike being superstitious. I would love to. He is that. super superstitious. No way. All right. He is. I've worn this shirt for like every big final table all year. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'm not superstitious. I'm just stitious. TV, are you superstitious? No. Not especially, you know. Tumbleweeds flying through the booth. Very, very clearly, Stevie is not superstitious. I could have guessed that. It's not superstition, Sean. You just knows the cause and effect. He just knows what's coming. The pocket fork was the most insane thing I've seen in my life. 57? 57. Losing down. range. What Doubling up as we head into the final level of the evening, buying 6k, 12k. <laughs> and yeah, you know, I think Ike has wore that t-shirt for every final table. He, he definitely has. Ike also said losing to range because <laughs> any hand that side always shove with can't be with that run out. Just wanted to note that. <laughs> Have some fantastic one liners. Savalevsky, all business today. Looking to end the series with a bang. After a lot of whiffs, if I'm being brutally, on brutally honest. You were more comfortable with An 11th in the 30k turbo, a 10th in the 25k. Bricked everything else, an expensive series so far for the Brazilian. Respect. First joined us in Cyprus earlier on, sorry, late last year. Skipped Vietnam, skipped Cyprus this year. Busy crushing online, I assume. Yeah, and winning bracelets yep. at the World Series this summer. Yeah. Well, bracelet, but I mean, he, now he has multiple. Uh-oh. Sean Winter with a tower of he called? white chips. Yeah. You sure? Yes. <laughs> Chidwick. I'm not slow rolling. I, I just, I don't know. Maybe he made some sick reading. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you never fucking know. <laughs> Maybe he has a bad feeling. Oh, well, laughs for everyone else at the table, but not laughs. Same if you're a Chidwick laugh. fan. Did call. It's flop top pair. Needs to find the three outer and now has just two. As that ace of hearts is also working for winter. As he improves to the nut flush on the river. Barbero. Saying to Stevie, good luck in the short deck events. Chadwick will be battling in those as well. Has had good results in short deck. One short deck. Definitely one of the best. Main event. One of the best is Mr. Chidwick. And you can buy action from some of the best over on Poker Stake. Today's event is brought to you by the official staking partner of Triton. 
It's the ultimate platform for staking professional poker players around the globe with no fees on any purchases. Poopsie is the go-to platform for anyone looking to support their favorite player's journey and celebrate the rewards of big victories. You can get in on the journey of your favorite player in all poker tournaments worldwide. All purchases are free, no rate on tra or transaction fees, and all winnings are guaranteed by PokerStake. Head on over and check it out. It's been a decent ROI on a few players here this series. I mean, but like everyone plays different. That's the beauty of it. I'm sure no limit. People, a lot of people play similar. I mean, I, I never played. Maybe it's better than I think it is. See Pardo getting a lot of love online, understandably so. That fold with kings. Winter with the best of it on the 964. See if Yuri wants to continue here, opening from under the gun. Oh, we got Bruno. We got Bruno back with a lot of chips. What an animal. Oh, Bruno Volkman has come back with a lot of chips, currently third overall. How about it? See that from the Brazilian. Gets the better hand from winter to fold. Up to 1.3 million as we wind down the last day. As it's now Shulman squaring off against Tan. Twenty-four, seventy, and then forty. So it's forty-six. One sixteen. Yeah. Or you can eat cards on their backs. What is it with the fifty percent more that you said? Same, same, same. 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 If, it puts, if, if it's fifty percent less, then it will be more. So it's fifty percent more than the company. Yeah, but you must run, run. Official okay. confirmation. Chalk, <laughs> chalk. Yeah, do three, four, five, six. Okay. Tan's happy with the chop. <laughs> Nick will take it. Oh, no. Also take that board. Bye-bye. <laughs> Tan's saying he's bye-bye. Well, still has one card to come. Needs an ace or a king. Yeah. Oh, oh. that's brutal. Oh. Feels so bad. Feels so bad. I, I, it feels, Same. Same. I, I don't like it. You call, I orient. I don't like the way it feels. You know <laughs> It really does sting. It's just been brutal this week with those kind of runouts. I'm not see flipping pre, but 1.6 million up top, 49 left. Rather than having a very healthy. Double check. Make sure. 635k. It's now down to lucky. sub 10. Very, very lucky, big boy. Very, very lucky. That happens a lot with Ace King. It comes on the river. That's a part of it, you know? Well, Shulman still has chips, but left with sub 10. He's going to have his work cut out, at least for this final level. 
Let's see if he can spin it back up as things stand. There's Yuri Tivalevsky out in front. Kat Luchun in second. Mikita Batikowski in third. The only three players with more than a million. A lot of big eliminations from the outer tables. Daniel Dvoris, Sam Greenwood, Elton Sang, Boss Paul, Biao Ding, Johanna Strava, Savannah, Roman Frabitz. All busting late in the day here. Champagne level indeed, Samuel. <laughs> Champagne level indeed. Yeah, I learned about that. You know, when I said beer level was quickly shot down and you said it's champs or wine. So, you know, whatever it is, I'm here for it. You know, perhaps one of these days we can also have a wine level here in the booth. We can. I, I'm surprised that you haven't brought any in yet. Is this your way of getting me fired so you don't have to pay the bet? Not at all. You are <laughs> more than welcome to bring some in. We can leave we can leave it for the last night. No bluff. <laughs> oh, that's oh. Volga saying shows the table keys. Is that? Crystal? Yeah. Wow. Nice hand. That's good. How do you say nice hand in German? Guten? No. Right? You don't say Guten that in good. German? Nice hand? No. We have never used it. Wow. Really it. Just very like... I guess you can't play poker. <laughs> Wait, hang on. So. You don't say nice hand? But even when you word, like, what do you say? It's yeah, like you, you actually say nice, nice hand. hand. Yeah. I wouldn't know a German expression. Wow. You guys are very just straight to the point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Back streets back, all right, it says Twix level. Oh, no, no, that was last no, level. No, no, no. Two levels ago, no, Twix wrong. level. Last level, <laughs> champagne <laughs> level. Shulman down to 97K after losing that flip. Just eight big blinds going in the middle here with threes. Hold it all the way around to the blinds. Maybe give me action. <laughs> Shulman wants the action, I mean. He's asking Tan. For this maybe, this might not be action. That was more action. <laughs> <That's not laughs> that might be a little more wow, action. Wow, he's, he's, he's peeling it. You have a pair? Peeled the 10-6. Shulman was worried that maybe no? it's not action. Okay. It is. Ace eight oh to get back up to starting it. stack. Give your flashlight on, Tan. Hello. No, no. Very bright. Oh, you're <laughs> <laughs> blind. <laughs> right in Shulman's eye. Just like a lost puppy, it is. I got the three. It's, it's fantastic. I'll let you know after. Uh, That's Shulman. The yeah. With the trays. Uh. Ace in the window, and sometimes it's just not meant to be. Needs to do a Doug Polk. Wow. Mm. Good luck. Doesn't do it. Ivinger winning the flip with the ace 8 -0. I think that's all we're going to be seeing from Sean, although it does have a title in short deck as we enter that part of the series. So perhaps that's where the run good will come from for Shulman. That does sting. One card away from playing a monster stack to being out just a couple of hands later. GG's. Yeah, it hasn't been the best trip for him, but hasn't been the worst. Played three events, including the 250k Invitational. Didn't cash that or the 25k PLO, but ended up getting 11th in the 125k main for 360k. So still a couple chances left, as you mentioned, with the short deck on the horizon. Yep, yeah, that one stings as well. 11th in the main. I mean, you'd rather just not cash. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you'd just that's rather. You know, be like, an exaggeration. Why even make day two, you know? Because that's where you start dreaming, Maria. 
14 left, 13 left, 4.1 million up top. You're like, okay. Boom, out in 11th. Just take me now. <laughs> Seidel's found a hand he is going to go with. How much? A lot of chips. <laughs> a whole <laughs> lot. Nine bigs. Barbero interested in the small blind with ace five. And Haxton short in the big, six bigs. He's taking it. He's going to take it. Seems fine. Just happens that he is dominated. Seidel <coughs> so well. in a great spot to spin. Looking very likely I think, uh, nine. to spin the wheel. That is a fun card. <laughs> Barbero picking up four additional outs now. Looking for an eight or a five. Doesn't find it. Now he can't re Seidel back up to 20 bigs. Nine time bracelet winner. Still just holding his own against the newer generation. Average stack 38 big blinds, so. Getting on the shallower side of things. Sean Winter has 40 bigs, Maria. I'm confused. Well, by what exactly? The stack depth. <laughs> What's it's, so confusing? I mean, he's normally rocking like a seven and a half big blind stack. And right, but that that's usually when we're closer to the that's money, true. I feel that's like. That's a great point. You're right. You're right. He's normally already guaranteed six figures at that point. <laughs> the Valeski. Well, a couple of aces dead. And getting very aggressive. Winter, I would expect, is at least going to call here. Just such a nice hand when it's suited. Let's go. Two of the biggest stacks at the table. Going to lock horns. We wind down the <laughs> clock and top, top. Sean Winter, who snap checks over to the Brazilian. One of those boards as well, Maria, where Yuri could potentially lose a few more chips here, a couple of black tens. Quarter pot from Zivileski. Winter understands that a part of Yuri's three bet range in terms of value hands are going to be premiums, could contain some kings and some aces here, but also ace queen, so strong, but not necessarily a hand that 
He needs to check raise. Doesn't really need much protection. That's a rough turn card for Yuri. No diamond, no heart. Some of the backdoor diamond floats. Yeah, I'm not surprised to see him reaching for some white chips here. Looks like half pot. Close to 30% of Winter's remaining stack. I do believe that this turn call from Winter, though, brings some clarity to Yuri. I think he's going to shut down on a lot of rivers. Certainly, three of hearts. Not a great river. Your opponent can have some flush draw still continuing twice with. Yeah, Black 10 snap checking on the river. Sean Winter up to 800k now, just shy. So he moves up into top 10 chip counts. Yuri still chip leader. But was in a sizable pot there. There he is, the man of the hour, Juan Pardo. Of the year, the, the possibly, series, after I mean, that. Yeah. Getting so much love over on the Triton Poker Twitter page for that fold. You can hear Espen laughing in the background. <laughs> That's pretty cute oh, that you guys are so close. You even I didn't know, we were about then. know his laugh. Behave. I, didn't know. I just registered. No, I wasn't. I was just playing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is a bubble. I, in, uh, like, main, WSP main event. Haxton down to four bigs. Doesn't feel like he's going to find much yeah. better spot, despite Juan Pardo opening I, I, from the button. <laughs> Winter folding. At a freaking premium. Absolute bottom range. Yeah, it must be really frustrating having to fold. The Jack 10 suited there for Winter. Would have happily stacked off against Ike, but Juan behind opening from under the gun. Get to play the big line again, Nacho. Oh, if I only survive this one, I get to play the perfect number of hands. <laughs> well, I hope it works out for you, Ike. Looking a little bleak. GG's, Mr. Ike Haxton. Seeing more of him in the short deck streets. <laughs> I love how Winter straight away is like, oh, Nacho, you get to uh, finish in the big blind. It does indeed, as five more hands have been announced. You know, anything to maybe get Nacho on tilt toward the end of the night. Nacho yawning, though. Looks a little too tired to be bothered. Just wants to make it to day two. Yuri still... Maintaining the top spot, though, in the chip counts, despite losing that three-bet pot to Sean Winter. Your small line last. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I don't think Seidel means it. Being facetious. Hmm. Unbelievable. You know who's a really good Twitter follow? Eric Seidel. Facetious, funny, witty. I would use all of those words to describe Seidel's tweets. The poker gods are supposed to reward you for the king's fold. You're supposed to win the tournament like 90%. 
That's usually how it works. <laughs> well, I'm just. Pardo, give us something. Yeah. We want to hear from you. Yeah, you know, are you human? Did you not? What did you feel? Yeah. Let us know. I mean, to be fair, he did. He did kind of. I think he gave it the old Baminos. The classic, like, Nadal fist pump. He saw the aces. He's 10 9, has Zivalevsky out pipped by one. Both connecting with middle pair. Dropping like flies late in the evening, down to 40. Put up Punsri, Katie, Malinovsky, all out. So many eliminations. Average stack, 44 big blinds. It has to be expected. A lot of late registrations. Trying to spin those 20 bigs. One going nowhere, one would assume. This middle pair. And this is where it gets really exciting. If Yuri finds a double barrel, does of course have the option to check back, but it's from Brazil. <laughs> but also against a big blind defending range, you would think that there's going to be worse 10 X's in there and nine X's as well. So sometimes a bet for value, even with the queen's hen, but Zivileski with the check back. You know, the hands that would check back the turn that has king-10 beat are really just jacks, queens, kings, maybe some of the weaker ace-axes, but obviously there's a strong ace-ax always going to come with a double barrel, I think. Pardo able to go for value now. Yeah, Yuri understandably pays him off. Gets shown the King-10 outpipped by one. Nice little couple of pickups for Pardo. Two starting stacks now. Danny Tang up to first in chips now. 30 here. Play 1.2 million. Lewis Spencer as well. I think. Climbing the ranks. Five players with more than a million. And Looks like Yuri's collecting all the 1K chips. You know, towards the end of the night, sometimes the table chip leader likes to open a little bit wider, feeling like maybe players won't play as many hands towards the end of the night, but not against this crowd. You know, this is not the crowd to be doing it with. I don't think any of them care about making day two. They're just here to play their best. Hope it works out. Pardo proceeding with caution against a 20 big blind open from under the gun plus one from Seidel. Oh, <laughs> fun one. Yeah, going to be a little more fun for one of these players when it's all said and done. We've got three more hands after this. How much do you like your hand side out? Enough to at least fire out a C bet. 
On the Jack-10-6. Pardo, open ender, Queen of Hearts. Note the equities, by the way. Has 60% with just King High. I've had these hands and miss before. <laughs> Am I still upset about it three years later? No. Why would I be? Look, you won a thousand pounds today, okay? <laughs> Cry me a river. Ain't that the truth? Deuce of clubs. Very Is Pardo exciting. really got a brick this now? I feel like the poker gods are going to punish Pardo just to make you feel better about that one time that you bricked a massive combo draw. Should come play PLO. Brick super wraps with nut flushes for a living. Twenty five K lead. How about this? From Juan, little twenty percent pot. Seidel, going nowhere. Well, that's one way of ensuring that you'll uh, get to realize your equity. And it came. Perhaps maybe in the best way. Not too many outs. Well, what's interesting is because Pardo did lead the turn, you know, even if he led this river, doesn't necessarily mean that he connected meaningfully with the river card. But of course, Seidel can't love his hand. Pardo could have some flop flushes that he would play this way. Certainly some suited combinations would be calling out of the small blind. Seidel blocking Broadway though with the queen of clubs. Doesn't block any hearts though. You know, hands even as weak as five, four suited could come along from the small blind, but certainly all the middling flushes. And sneaky check by Pardo. I think, I yeah, that, that definitely works for Eric. Didn't lose more on the river, but wasn't beat until the ace rolled off. Post flop. Post flop. Back to the out table. Tan in the mix again. Cut off the button. Ivinger picking up an inside straight draw now. Glad to hear you follow Seidel on Twitter, by the way. Is this a needle if I told you that I would have bet a thousand that the river would have bricked. I was gonna give you a chance to break even on our bet. I, I just didn't say it in time. You know, take that how you will. Perhaps salt on the wound, perhaps. Perhaps food poisoning <laughs> on the horizon. <laughs> For you, I mean. You wouldn't. You've already did, you did me in the very first time we ever ate together and now you dare. I would literally never go out to eat with you ever again <laughs> if it happened. Twice, too much of a coincidence. You've definitely tampered with my food. Just saved myself a thousand bucks. Finger. Gonna empty the clip. Tan with just. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Wait a on. second. Does he have Wh it counted out? Is Wh he gonna put it in? Why is he just picked up 104k here? I mean, he's blocking all of the misdraws. Like he's blocking King 10 and Jack 10 and the backdoor hearts. The backdoor Bangkok, but he's unblocking the front door. Flush, Lose it. he's losing to like ace three, ace four. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. What? 
What? What is going on? What a call. Just heroes him off with King High. So he takes the mic off. Does that mean they're done over here? Turn up to 735k. What Unbelievable. Is it just like the TV dynamic that he just no, thinks? No, you think, you think that's what he cares about? Well, he no, just said to Ivinger, it's like TV table, don't bluff me. That I don't was know. Unreal. I don't know, I'm just saying. It was a nice day outside probably too, right? Was it, was it raining at all or? <laughs> Looks like we've got some more action over on the blue feature. Yeah, what an insane it. hero call. Cool. That was actually crazy, but I love it. I love to see it, especially this late into the night where people might have mentally already checked out. Not Tan Shuan. No Suri Bob. Yuri. Yeah. Getting there on the turn. Gets his fellow countryman. Volkman still live to the nine for the scooper. They wouldn't chop. <laughs> chop on board, no? Is it really that late? Is that late for you? Very happy to check it once more. See if Bruno wants to get a bit of protection. Volkman's another one of those Brazilians, just such a cool customer. It wouldn't surprise me if I just caught him slaying some waves in between series. Just down east coast of Brazil, Fortaleza, you know, just shredding it up with the boys. Going nowhere. It's hard to know who's cooler, Yuri or Bruno, honestly. <laughs> <gasps> Flush comes in. And Volkman's done with the hand. Just one four, that's all you need. Great. But just in case, two fours. <laughs> Nacho try. <laughs> nice try, Nacho. I respect it. <laughs> Nacho is saying goodnight to everyone, even though he knew. <laughs> he knew there's one more hand. Can't blame him for trying. You're probably going to double up. Some late night eliminations. Jonathan Jaffe, Bryn Kenny, Seth Davies, Michael Soyser all bowing out. Late in the day is Makita Patsyakowski. Pole position, 1.4. Danny Tang doing much better after he busted, what, his second bullet maybe? Maybe his first, either way, up to 100 in two. Yeah. big blinds. In for two. No, when I get a good hunt. Yeah, I know, because it's like because they did five. Like it just makes the most sense. Year of the nacho. <laughs> Perhaps me not being superstitious is where I'm going wrong with my poker career. How about this for a setup? Last hand of the night, as predicted. Wow. Seidel ripping it all in. And Nacho going to ask for a count. I mean, this is for... There it is. So it gross. comes over the top. Nacho did not want this to happen. He did not want... Last hand of the night. 27% <sighs> equity. We've already seen a nine dead. Well, good news. He does have Seidel covered. Bad news is he played max hands having to but it's like weird, pay uh, his big blind and then the having to call Seidel's <laughs> jam. It's going to be down to 10 bigs unless he can find oh. a nine or a six. Why <laughs> say GG in advance to Seidel. 
Oh, oh my. my gosh. And it really is GG's. Four side L busting on the final Aye. can of the night. I wonder, I was like, you acted like nothing happened on the river. <laughs> Barbero. Huh? You know, I'm convinced. Call me superstitious from here on out. I'm not going to be changing my box of shorts in the booth going forward. It's just going to be I didn't no need to clean know laundry. That. Well, you know, this is what these guys are doing, apparently. Apparently, there's there's some tricks out there that can bring the run good. The year of the Nacho continues with that nine on the river. 43 big blinds for him. Chip counts, what you buy? Leze, Yuri closing things out with 97 bigs. We welcome you back to the break desk. Mikita Bazikuski going to be coming into tomorrow with the chip lead and perhaps a byproduct of that four time champion club becoming too cozy now. Ivy joining him and Mikita saying, hang on a minute. <laughs> hang on. I don't like this. I want my own club. Yeah, I can see that. Just want to keep setting himself apart from others, but clearly Bad's play already does that. So tough to play against. But we look at the top stacks here. Tang, Zivileski, Lewis Spencer, Masashi, all of these players tremendously experienced in these types of fields. Yeah, incredibly fun tournament to come back to tomorrow. Same time, same place, 2 p.m. We're going to be playing down to a champion. Champions could be walking away with 1.6 million, the last of the No Limit Hold'em tournaments here at the Triton Poker Series in London. From Maria and myself, good night, and we'll see you all tomorrow.